todos, bienvenidos a Town Gameplay, vuestro canal de... Bienvenidos a Killer Frequency, es el año 1987 Y cuando el reloj marca la medianoche en la pequeña ciudad estadounidense de Gallows Creek El locutor Forrest Natch de Big City Radio Entra en directo en el aire en lo que se convertirá en el turno de noche de su vida En esta comedia de terror Debes resolver puzzles para evitar que un misterioso asesino Cace a los oyentes que llaman a la emisora en una situación en la que cada llamada es cuestión de vida o muerte, podrás salvar a los habitantes de Gallows Creek. Muy, muy interesante, ¿eh? muy original. Espero que se vean bien los subtítulos para que... Ok, si está todo bien puesto. Perfecto. Comenzamos. Para que veáis todo, porque está en inglés, pero digamos subtitulado en español. Movimiento WASD. ¿Por qué estoy en un callejón nada más empezar? ¿Alguien lo sabe? Hay basura. <risa> vale, puedes sujetar dos objetos. Cambiar los objetos de mano, tal, tal, tal. Soltar objetos, lanzar objetos. Quiero uno. Vale, tengo uno. Vale, y para lanzarlo con la R. Perfecto. Muy bien. Subo un poquitín el brillo para que lo veáis mejor. Siempre se agradece un poquito más de brillo, no mucho. Pero sí, un poquito más. Ahí está. ¿Qué he hecho? Ah, que puedo guardar cuando yo quiera. Vale. Ok. Uy, ese silbido es como el del lobo del gato con botas. De la película nueva. Lo he subido. ¿Funciona? ¡Ahí va! ¡Uy, uy, uy, uy! Creo que es para abajo, ¿no? <coughs> algo está fallando aquí. <coughs> no sé qué es. Unos fusibles o algo así. No sé quién soy. Si se supone que estoy yendo a trabajar, ¿por qué? Debe ser un prólogo de algo que le pasó a alguien. Y estamos viéndolo en primera persona, chicos. Esa botella. Qué mal rollo. Inspeccionar objetos. Pulsa E para empezar a inspeccionar. Vale. Y luego puedo verlo. Vale, perfecto. Podemos inspeccionar los objetos. Interesante. Agacharse. Nos podemos agachar. No podemos correr, por cierto. O al menos de momento no me deja correr. Quizá luego hay una persecución y empieza a correr el personaje. Así es como entro yo a trabajar desde atrás. Creo que es lo más chulo. Te puedo tener dos objetos, algo así. ¿Veis? Ya tengo. Ok. El asesino, chicos. Creo que es él. Hemos entrado en esta habitación. Y nos ha seguido. No me puedo mover. Ahí está. Ese debe ser el asesino de la radio. Oh. Lo sabía, digo, tiene que ser una especie de, de prólogo para que entendamos cómo mata. You hear something, Peggy? Huh? Hear what? I thought I heard someone yelling, or I don't know. Importante que le hayas, chicos. Forrest, is this a joke? No, I almost swore I heard something. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Cats? You know, four legs, whiskers, tails, not dogs. Eso se llama, ¿no? Y Forrest somos nosotros. ¿Ha escuchado algo él, eh? Del asesino, el asesinato ese que acabamos de ver. ¿Estás listo para hacer los pruebas de pruebas? ¿Seriously? ¿Do we have to do these checks every time? And do you have to call them that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment before each show. And he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But if you're sure you don't want to. 
Vale. Eh, aún no voy a empezar a hacer eso que me han pedido, pero quiero ver... <coughs> quiero ver un poco el sitio. Aquí tenemos el mapa. Este juego lo jugamos en demo hace tiempo. Y ya nos pareció muy interesante. Creo que entonces no estaba en español. Vale, dice... Ocultar o mostrar el panel es... Activado, sí. Mejor. Vale, este es el pueblo. ¿Yo dónde estoy? Emisora de radio, aquí. Estamos aquí, chicos. Ok. Y luego tenemos que ayudar, digamos, a quien nos llame. Aviso de tráfico. Cierres de carreteras de Gallows Creek. El lado este de Marcravia Street estará cerrado de 2 del 2 al 9 de septiembre por mantenimiento. Los residentes no podrán acceder a las carreteras entre Rogers Avenue y Handonfield Road. Es que tenemos que ayudar a los oyentes, entonces esto es importante. Si no tenemos en cuenta el día en el que estamos y las calles que están cerradas, el asesino podría matarlos. ¿Esto? No sé si me voy a acordar, pero que sí. Ha sacado ahí de nuevo. Vale, eh, me gustaría poner los subtítulos más grandes. Pero creo que no se puede, chicos. Para que lo vieseis un poquito mejor. Solo pone que sí. Me molaría para que lo vieseis súper bien. Desde allá de Maya. No lo veo, ¿eh? No parece que se pueda. Así que tenéis que estar ahí con los ojos pegaditos al móvil. <risa> o a la pantalla. Ok. Visto lo visto. Aquí hay unos discos también. Voy a poner un disco. ¿Me deja o no? Lo he puesto. ¡Ay, mira el papel! El papel lo puedo encestar aquí. A ver. R. ¡Buah! Muy buena puntería, la verdad. Hay que reconocerlo. ¡Y! Encesta un gameplay. Vale, eh. Sí. Ayúdame, por favor. Alrighty, this is your captain speaking. Really? Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubular. Vamos a hacer un programa de radio, ¿eh? Let's start with record playing. Ya lo he puesto. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and hit play. Easy. Vale. Play. La aguja. Ya, pues ya lo he puesto, tío. Uh, Forrest, you need to grab a record and stick it on the turntable. Ya lo he hecho. Got it. Now turn it off. Apágalo. Apagado. All right. Up next, phone line button. Los botones de las líneas. Your captain will be waiting to take your call on line one. Línea uno, tengo una llamada. ¿Dónde está eso? Aquí. Aquí tres líneas. Línea uno. All right, Peggy. Ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald Keycock. <laughs> call me Don. You get it? Hmm. Yeah. It's a riot. Great, and button two works just the same. So, let's move to the Peggy button. You mean the producer line? Peggy like I said, the Peggy button. Press it when you need my help during the show. Hmm, is there a Peggy mute button? <laughs> They haven't invented it yet. Now, come on. The Peggy button is the third one on the line. Vale, el botón de Peggy sería este. <sighs> Press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an unfun <laughs> turkey. I'm a turkey now, am I? Okay. Are we almost done? <laughs> Sound blaster next. Mesa de mezclas. <coughs> vale, ahora esto. Eso sería el sonido. Esto sería para... Las Sound llamadas. Blaster. Front of the desk to the right. Ah, esto. 189.6. There we go. Always good for a cheap laugh. All right, we're almost done. Just the volume sliders left. Control the volume. These should let you affect pretty much everything. Qué guay, But eh? let's Original. test it with a record. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. Qué guay todo esto, tío. Me gusta mucho. Vale, eh, ponemos música y podemos modificar el volumen o muy alto o bajo. Sí, estoy en ello, ¿no? All right. Seems to be all working. We done? 
Captain? <laughs> we sure are. Coming in for landing. Local time? Ah, should not encourage you. I knew you had a fun side. It's my fun side that gets me in trouble. Get to it. Now, let's get the show started. <coughs> After your introduction, our first segment is Guess That cascos, Scream. Yeah? I thought that was a joke. Nope, and don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Okay, Forrest, shut the music up. Apaga la música, vale. No okay, cierras. you're live in three, two. One eighty-nine. Uy, empezamos. Doce de la noche, chicos. Primer programa. Les ha dado suerte. Good evening, Gallows Creek. This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to one eighty-nine point sixteen, The Scream. Before we start taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only late night phone in talk show, I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. Guess that scream. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works. I'm gonna play you a scream, then you call and <coughs> guess that scream. All right. We need you to guess why they're screaming. Did they stub their toe, saw off a finger, or discover the corpse of a loved one? That's good. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to. Guess that scream. Peggy, what do you mean play the tape? I used to have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. I put it in there. Forrest, you do have the tape right. No, sir. We're doing this tonight. Peggy, let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible idea. No, I, I don't have the tape. It Oops. may be a stupid idea, but that's the way it's going to be. We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest. And you're the one at the mic, so. Chiaro? Really, Peggy? You want, you want me to scream? Que grite? You know this show depends on my golden voice, right? Voy a gritar. Forrest, just do it. That's enough dead air already. Just think of a scream and let it rip. Oh yeah, me. Oh God. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. I had to step away there for a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. Vamos a gritar. Eh, grito, grito de sonado, grito de una caída por un barranco, ahogamiento. <laughs> well, Dios. Folks, there you have it. Call in with your guesses, and if you get it right, you could win two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and one free Madre fried mia. dough. Fried dough. Just call in at five 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 two three nine K Fam with your guesses. Madre mia. Now, here's some music while you get dialing. Oh God, Forrest! Dios. Vaya grito más horrible. I can't wait to hear what people think that was. How the hell did I get into this mess? Lighten up, Forrest. That's gonna be the highlight of my week. Para qué hay que hacer? No me he enterado. Oh, Forrest, there's a call coming in. Oh, llamada. Time to turn the music off. Okay. Primera llamada, chicos. Ah, sí, aquí. Perdón. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. Caller, you're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest. Thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator and police oh. dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Mm. Mm. Well, Leslie, I guess it must be a slow night for crime if you've got time to call in. What can we do for you? Slow night? Forrest, I found oh, a body. I can't. Forrest, I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Peggy, I'm not gonna be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. Leslie, I'll level with you. 
I find this hard to believe, but I'll hear you out. What exactly is going on? Sheriff Matthews is dead. What? Sheriff Matthews is dead? I couldn't get any response from the department. That's never happened before. Yo contando el rollo, eh. Vale, ha matado al sheriff. Es el del principio. Poor Sheriff Matthews. Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close and I really don't want to say what they did to him. Did he fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but wow. Eh, ¿Hay alguien más en la comisaría? ¿Es alguien más en la estación? ¿Es alguien que puede ayudarte? ¿O que puede ser responsable? No, he chequeado por todo el mundo. Deputy Martínez está aquí, pero no está aquí. Está aquí, está aquí, está aquí, está aquí, está aquí, está aquí. Me llamé a ti, justo después de que la encontré. Dios, espera, por favor, no me digas que esta ciudad solo tiene dos casos. No seas ridículo. Tenemos tres. Pero el oficial Gunderson está en el lugar. Ups, está en Cancún. Do you have any idea who could have done this? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself. Let them know what's going on and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's going to man the emergency line? Oh. That's why I called. Forest, I have routed all 911 calls. No, van a llamar todos aquí. Cuenta conmigo. You can count on me. I'll do what I can. Todas las llamadas de emergencia van a venir aquí a la radio. Experience manning a phone line around here. You're the only person equipped for the job. Besides, there are lots of transferable skills between the two. It's like an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Keep people talking, you know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do know that I'm so good at interviews, they sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. Well, let's have some on-the-job training right now. I have an emergency. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell, pretty, eh? and the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. There's got to be another way in. Tira la puerta abajo, busca otra forma de entrar, busca otro juego de llaves. Tira la puerta. Uf, otra forma de entrar. Hay otra forma de entrar en la puerta que puedes ver. No sería mucho de una puerta si tuviera un barco. Tiene que haber otro set de llaves en la oficina. No puede ser la única uno. Por supuesto. Sí, debe haber otro set. ¿Dónde podría otro set estar? Debe ser el sheriff Matthews. Tal vez el sheriff Matthews tenía un set de llaves en él cuando... ¿Sabes? No puedo ver nada a un momento. Así es como vamos a ayudar, chicos, dando consejos. Está escudriñando en el sheriff que ya ha muerto. A ver si tiene una llave extra, porque tenemos a la persona encerrada. Las tiene, las tiene. Bien. Looks yeah. like Sheriff Matthews might have saved his deputy. Do the keys work? <coughs> they do. Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. So far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? Mmm. It's not a I I swear to God, Peggy, if this is some sort of joke, I'm leaving this town. I've never heard of anything like. Like this happening in broadcast. I've never heard about anything like this either. But we're here now for it. Just got to see what happens next. Come on, Martinez. There we go. Oh, está, está sentando el cadáver en la silla. Sit you in your office chair. Oh, 
head to my car in a minute. I'm back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. You mean we're gonna be on our own? Just Peggy and me, and no one else, responding to emergency calls. You'll be fine. You and Peggy just work together like you did earlier. Trabajar juntos. Now I'll be back as soon as I can. Oh. What? My car! My car is on fire! What do you mean Yosh. it's on fire? How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? Wait. Es el video. No, no way. This can't. Well, Forrest, we no. have big trouble. What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like whistling. Whistling? It can't be. Oh my god. I can see him, but he's dead, right? Right? El asesino. With that mask. How the hell is he? Who, Leslie? Who? The whistling man. The whistling man? Who's the whistling man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Los años 50. But he's dead. He's what the hell? Oh god. Do you think Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? He's coming this way. Cierra las puertas. Cierra, 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 cierra. Right. Si no se lo dices igual. Eh, llévate un coche patrulla. There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Oh, oh. Like you should take one of those. I Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Let me check if Martinez has any uh, just reach into your pocket there, deputy, and yes, got him. Keys for squad. Llévate el coche patrulla atrás. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. But wait. How am I supposed to get us to the car? The whistling man is right there. Está allí. Coge la pistola del sheriff. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. Está vacía. I... Oh, shit. It's empty. He must have emptied it trying to defend claro. himself. ¿Ves alguna otra arma? Are, are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um, uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. All right. <coughs> it looks like the whistling man left her with a baton, pepper spray, a spray and a taser. taser. I can only hold one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. Which should I take? Wow. Coge el taser, coge la porra. Yo el taser. I mean, it's got to be the taser, right? Got it. I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez and then... Wait. Do you hear that? No. No. I, I can't hear anything. Exactly. It's gone quiet. No more knocking. Ooh. Be careful. I don't like it. Me neither. But it's an opening, and I've got to take it. Deputy Martinez, if you can hear me, it's time to move. Just lean on me. Yep. There you go. Are you sure about this, Leslie? No time like the present, right? So, here we go. Again, you're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. Bueno, se ha salvado el momento. Speak to you soon. Buena suerte, Leslie. Animado. Good luck, Leslie. That's one brave woman. Wow. God, I hope she makes it through this. <sighs> you know, I've got to say, this really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Well, they always say you have to be ready for everything in Todo life. Todo esto en el aire, ¿eh? estaba escuchando. Dios, al cabo. Oh, I think we've got oh. Leslie back on the line. I'm vale. putting the call through. A ver, Leslie. Hello? Forrest? Peggy? Sí, estamos aquí. Afirmativo. That's a big 10-4 there, good buddy. I, I'm guessing you made it to the car then. Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. 
Deputy Martinez is in the passenger seat, still out cold. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. So I'm going to get us moving. Jesus! God damn it! Get, get back! Real. Get away from her! No. The whistling! No! 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 Get up her, you son of a bitch! Yeah! Take that! What did say? Leslie, drive! Don't worry, Deputy Martinez. We're out of here. Leslie, are you two okay? Did you get away? Or... Forrest, that taser? Definitely the right call. Oof, no oh my god, El I can't believe this escaped. Well done, Leslie. You saved a life. Just another day for you. Oh my god, yeah. But let me tell you. I prefer doing it from your side of the phone. Leslie, how long do you think it's going to take to get help? Gallows Creek is a nowheresville, but it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while, maybe two, Dos three hours, hours each way. Buah. Y luego la vuelta. I put my foot down. You keep that pedal to the floor then. We'll see when you're back. You don't have to tell me twice. Anyway, once I'm in... Oh, I think Deputy Martinez is starting to stir. La oficial. Forrest, Peggy, I've got to go. I'll be out of range soon, but I'll radio back as soon as I can once I got the cavalry. Take care, Leslie. Be safe out there. Good luck, Leslie. Feel better soon, Deputy Martinez. Bueno, ahora sí que sí, chicos. Vaya presentación. Folks, you heard it here. We've got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. Madre mía. Please make sure to stay safe. And Leslie, we're counting on you. We're gonna get back to the show meanwhile. If you have anything on your mind or have any information about this Whistling Man character, then give us a call. We'll talk here on 189.16, The Scream. For now, here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. This is not what I signed up for, Peggy. This is actually insane. Did she really say it's going to take four hours? <clears throat> this guy's going to kill half the town in four hours. Forrest, that's not helpful. I know, I know, I just... I hope I'm still reading it well, because it's a little small. He was a serial killer <coughs> back in the 50s. Edward Marshall Mooney. Went around in a freaky mask, vale. whistling. Vale, that's the killer. Killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. Mataba porque sí. And he's come back tonight. Probably not. Police chased him up to Ellis Point one night. Se ha limitado. O lo hace. Pico del silbido. Well, it was on this night actually. The police cornered him and he jumped into the river. Se lanzó al río. His body was never found. So is he alive? Dead? I mean, what's the story? Story is he's biding his time. Waiting to take revenge on the town. Why? Oh, right. That's the story. What's the truth? Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't know. <sighs> Haremos lo que podamos. Copycat or ghost killer. Imitador fantasma. Haremos lo que podamos. Puede ser auténtico o un... uh, una copia. At least we got the word out, I guess. What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday after midnight. 35 personas. Around 35? 35. Isn't 3,500? Huh. <laughs> I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, 35 people. At best. Whoops. Qué poco. Are you serious? We only have 35 listeners? 35, yeah. It's a school night. <sighs> And what's the population of Gallows Creek? I don't know exactly. A little over a thousand? Oh. How many did you get before? You know. Before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? <laughs> yeah. Before that. Around five for most shows on the low end. Big gas could pump that up to 10, 15, easy. Five thousand on the low end? We could only dream of that. Five million. Five million. Cinco millones de oyentes en día. Yeah, sometimes that's just the way it goes. Ah, es super famoso. The whistling man hasn't killed me yet. I guess. 
Yeah, I guess we're gonna learn a lot about perspective tonight, huh? Oh, we have a call coming in. Llamada. Take it when you're ready. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Llamada, chicos, línea uno. Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16, The Scream. Is everything, uh, all right? <sighs> Oops. Okay, uh, who is this? Are you, uh, hello? Hello? Se oye gente de fondo. Qué miedo. Okay. What's your name and why are you calling in? Un buen amigo está. No parece auténtico, ¿verdad? Vaya llamada. ¿Pero qué pasa con esa llamada? ¿La corto, no? No entiendo. Ah, vale, que tengo que responder. Eh, no tienes que hacer esto. No tienes que hacer esto, señor Whistling Man. You don't have to kill again. Oh, but I do. You must make a sacrifice to us. A sacrifice? To us. I, I mean, me. Uy, este es un bromista, sin duda, eh. We want cheese dusted pretzels. I mean, I want cheese dusted pretzels. Or Madre mía, este asesino creo que no será auténtico. Goddamn kids, I'm cutting them off. Not yet. I want to deal with them. Y queremos refrescos. Okay, so. Cheese dusted pretzels and a mega gulp behind the gas station. You got it, whistling man. Let's see you the game. Let's see what happens. See you soon, Morris Nash. Needless to say, I won't actually be going out to the gas station to buy anything for these kids, and none of you should be going out tonight either. We've got an actual killer out there. Anyway, this next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and windows locked. Hey, like, the hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? It's a thing. A thing? Oh, kids around here. They pull pranks pretending to be him. By pretending to bah. be this whistling man character? They think it's funny. Por eso puede ser un un fan. And there's no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie. No, that that's real. Christ. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. We already have another caller on the line. All right. Let's do this. Bueno, otra llamada, chicos. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. What? I need the sheriff right away. Vale, ¿qué pasado? Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. What's your name and what's your trouble? My name is Sandra Sharp, and I need the cops now. Um, no están disponibles. I'm sorry, but the cops aren't coming. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? God. Listen, you've got to help me then. I drove to the edge of town for a jazz run, and now some psycho dressed like the whistling man. La persigue. It's actually happening. Eh, ¿dónde estás? Where are you now? Did you escape to somewhere safe? Oh, I did, baby. I just ran all the way to my car and got my flat. But I dropped my keys somewhere along the way. I never locked the door, Lisa. I've got a place to hide. ¿Dónde he dicho que estaba? I can't get moving. Parece que le has dado un esquinazo. Pues hay algún otro lugar. Where else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? 
No. El silbido, tío. Es tal cual el gato con botas, eh. ¿En serio? Sin las llaves Ostras, tenemos que activar el coche sin llaves Dios Dios Salvador de confianza This one goes out to you, Sandra. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something? Timberline Twins talk motors. Yeah. You know they're not even brothers. Really? They look the same, though. I know, but they're not even related. It's weird. I asked them about it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. Anyway, go see what you can find. The offices are out the door. Vale, hay que buscar información sobre el coche, porque no tenemos ni idea. Que está al fondo del pasillo, dice. A ver. ¿Son estos los mecánicos? Voy a lanzar cosas, vale. El reloj, al fondo del pasillo, baño, baño. Oye, el asesino también podría venir aquí, ¿no? Entiendo. Oh, para arreglar coches, justamente. Ostras. Me la ha traído a mí, mi amor. O sea, algo más. Scream. Ay. Eso lo necesito para que nos ayude con la llamada. So many locked doors, so few keys. Y no puedo pulsar la luz. Vale, aquí podríamos... Uy. Aquí podríamos eh, imprimir, escanear cosas, más bien. Otro teléfono. Estoy escuchando ruidos y no me están gustando. Hay un cassette. Anuncio del asador. Hay un cassette, ¿eh? No lo puedo alcanzar. Eso será después, supongo. Me hará falta más tarde. Tengo lo que necesitábamos, chicos, de momento. Que era una revista en la que se habla de cómo arreglar un coche. Y ahí que me voy. Hay unas luces por fuera súper coloridas. Uy, luego tenemos esto. No quiere abrir ella, ¿eh? ¿Y si eres tú? ¿Y si eres tú? No me fío, ¿eh? No entrar ahí hoy. Vale, estaba un poco investigando. Bueno. Lo tengo. Bandeja de objetos. Coloca los objetos en la bandeja para sostenerlos mientras atiendes una llamada. ¿Qué bandeja? Pero... ¿Qué bandeja? What? Yo no veo ninguna bandeja de objetos. A ver si lo dejo aquí, ¿qué pasa? Técnica de acceso sin llave. Tengo llamada, ¿eh? Bueno, es pequeño. Sí. Pero si la bandeja de objetos. Thanks, Peggy. Um, vale, llamada. We're back with 189.16, the scream. No sé cuál es la bandeja, chicos. ¿Qué es esto? Ahí. Pues aquí no sale. No, 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 no. Lenny, ¿cómo veo esto? 
Chicos, necesito la bandeja de objetos y no sé dónde está. Es que, a ver, aquí no sale ninguna cosa de momento. La veo al revés, la revista. Tengo que verlo de dentro. He dicho bandeja de objetos. Mete la... Mete las, los objetos en la bandeja para poder atender una llamada mientras los ves. No voy a contestar todavía. Espera y eternamente. ¿Alguien ve la bandeja de objetos? Debo ser tonto, no la encuentro, chicos. Tocar, buscar tranquilamente. Es que bandeja de objetos. Uh, ok. Estos son para cassettes, esto tampoco parece para objetos. Estoy un poco perdido, voy a, voy a buscar. Vale, según parece, mi problema es que no le he dado la vuelta al objeto. Entonces tengo que, que, que verlo con la E, ¿os acordáis? Y luego girarlo. Vale, perfecto. Perfecto. Era eso. Eh, y esto se pone aquí. Vale, está en inglés, pero básicamente... Dice, paso uno, usa un destornillador. Meto destornillador en el contacto y gira en el sentido horario. Dice, úsalo como una llave. Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Here goes, baby. I... I... Screwdriver's too fat. Demasiado grueso. What next? Remueve la columna de, co de cobertura. Eso. Unscrew the steering column. Desatornilla. Right. Just turn. Just turn. One, two, one, two. Oh, God. I want these screws. Okay. Ha quitado la cubierta. Y ahora viene el paso test, que es lo del número de serie. Está haciendo genial. Cable rojo, azul, amarillo, verde y marrón. ¿Qué número de serie tiene la columna de dirección? Repítemelo, por favor. 576-894-320 Vale, dice Si hay un 4 antes de un 3 Y no hay 7 Si hay un 4 antes del 3 Y no hay 7 Pero si hay 7 si hay un 6 Si hay un 6 en cualquier lado Y no empiezas en 5 Vale Si hay un 0 Al final Y un 3 No está delante De un 6 Hay un 0 al final Y un 3 And 3, 2, come Before a 6 Y el 3 no está antes del 6 Vale, pues este es el rojo y amarillo, chicos. Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. All right. We take the red and the yellow and we twist and we turn. Oh, perfect. I also see pink and purple wire. What next? Ahora dice Now strip the purple wire. No strip, strip que es. Pelar, do not touch this life wire. Es o esto, pelar el morado en parámetro con el que está expuesto. Ay, no lo sé. Bruce. Bueno, no entiendo. Bruce de Parper Wire against the Twisted Wise. Frótalo. Strip the purple wire. Dime que lo he hecho bien, por Dios. Ok, ok. 
¡Vamos! Me alegro mucho, pero lo logramos, vale. We did it. Nice work, Forrest. I bet Sandra is positively jazzed that you answered her call. You bet Oof. I am, baby. Oh. Nuestra primera ayuda, chicos. Woohoo! Sure did. Here comes the another hit track that we're ja excited to share with you. And remember, if you're in car troubles, then tune in to. Timberline Twins Top Motors here uh, on 189.16 Monday to Friday at 5. Take it away, Forrest. I still can't believe this is happening. Wow. Primera llamada de socorro. Hemos sido capaces de ayudar a pesar de que estaba en inglés. El libro. Is a miserable place to live. Really? Miserable? Dios mío. Vamos a contestarle. Peggy, be honest, it's a dump. There's nothing to do here. Hell, I'm almost ready to thank this <sighs> Es un pueblo muy aburrido. Este nuevo pueblo en el que vive él. Well, I like it here. People are polite and uh Simplona. Ask backwards. Don't be awful, Forrest. Come on, there must be something you like about this place. Hay quien se salva. I guess some folks have been okay. Como tú. You're not terrible. After a while. Not terrible after a while. High <laughs> praise coming from Forrest Nash. You know what I mean, Peggy. I do. It's Forrest Nash for I think you're swell. Anyway, I hope the killer is done for the night and that Leslie gets back soon. Me too. Can we at least call off that <laughs> stupid guess the scream contest now? Yeah, that would probably be a good idea. Bueno, 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 12.42, chicos, primera fase del programa de radio, asesino suelto, persiguiendo a una chica, hemos conseguido que se salve. Menos mal, tenemos llamada. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand-in. Hmm. Hey, Forrest, my name is Brian, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty. Pues sería Ponty. ¿Está por aquí? Eh, hola, Brian Ponty de la pizzería. Está aquí abajo, chicos. Él. ¿Quién será el asesino? And uh, as a thanks for all you did there, I just wanted to tell you that I'm sending you some coupons oh, for Ponte. free pizza. I am, I am. Ponte's pizza. Wow, Brian, that's really good of you. You really don't have to, though. Oh, it's the least I can do. And if you like it, well, you're in luck because we're always Yay. running great. Esto es publicidad, eh. Esto es publicidad de Ponti. Sí, un poco inapropiado. Porque tanta publicidad. Wait a minute. Come on down to Ponty's Pizza this weekend. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it! You're just calling in to advertise your shop. Peggy, hang up on him. Real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. Now a word from our sponsors. Anuncio de los patrocinadores. No, no. In flight check time. Christ. Our captain would like to remind you that the station is required by law to play advertisements from our sponsors. Grab a cassette and stick it in the player. Ah, son los cassettes, lo sabía. Done. 
Los Creek Harvest Festival is back! We got it all out on Giblet Field. We got Little Miss Harvest Pageant, Princess Harvest Pageant, Harvest Después Queen de la Pageant, publicidad de la candy, pizza, corn dogs, publicidad. Cornhole, Corn on the Cob, Crokinole, Country Music, Can Jam, Jams, Jellies, Jamborees, Juggling, Roller Rickies, Roller Disco Lessons, Praying. We got baby crawling, balloon popping, balloons for sale, beard contest, horseshoes, hayride, hay toss, hey you there, safe donkeys and ponies, apple bobbin, firearm, fireworks, funnel cakes, fried dough, sheets, bitten sand, licking, cracker, cramming, and cat shop. Ow. And fake tattoo, face paint and puppets, pet and zoo, amazing maze maze, square dance and story swapping, spelling bee, quilting bee, and sewing circle, pie eating, lawnmower racing, hot dog eating contest, flower contest, and of course our famous gourd measure off. The festival is brought to you by Mayor Linda Cartwright, sponsored by Gallows and Sons Factory and dedicated to the memory of Garrett Miley. Tragically, must last festival. Okay. I can see why it's world famous. It's a highlight around here, Forrest. Oh, I am sorry to hear that, Peggy. All right, folks, welcome back to the show. We have a note from my producer. That's right. Come find me at the Harvest Festival tomorrow to grab your choice of a KFAM mug, sticker set, or poster. Let's see what our next caller would choose. A ver, se nos When you're ready, shut the music off. Welcome to The Scream, with me, Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie, this is Maurice Russell from The Gallows Reporter. Vale, un periódico. This guy just broke in downstairs and... Oh. Wait. Uh-oh. -uh. Forrest Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. What? God, another one? <sighs> Yo soy la policía. I am 911, at least for tonight, anyway. Damn it, son. I don't care who you are. Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Sheriff Matthews is dead. Dead? Uh. What happened? Did you witness the incident? Are you willing to do an interview for the uh. reporter? I can cite you as an anonymous source. Sí, estamos en la radio, pero sí, eh? genial. We're live on the air. Anything we say can and <coughs> will be broadcast. Live on... Damn it. All right. There's obviously a lot more going on than I know. Yeah, you, there's a lot <laughs> happening tonight. You said someone broke in. That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot <coughs> kid just broke Uy, in. Está por ahí. Dressed as the whistling man. <laughs> Teens. Puede ser el auténtico. Worse every year. Nah, this punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. But I was there. I covered it. Y ahora ha vuelto. Maurice, I don't know what's going on, but he's back. The whistling man is back. Don't be an ass, Nash. Every mm. year this happens. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. But they didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney. Él está seguro de que está muerto, el auténtico. I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. Uy. But if he killed Sheriff Matthews. Claro. Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom. Upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. Hay que ayudar a Maurice. You can watch them on any TV set here. And there's a set in the boardroom. Eh, ¿Puedes salir de ahí? Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Ah, I sure as shit hope so, kid. Uh -oh. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinet. <coughs> Va por él. Blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out. That's right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? All we can do from here is... Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? They'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? In different rooms, with different extensions. Vale. So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. Well, I'm not that could work. Exactly! It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. 
The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. <laughs> Sorry, Maurice. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out... <sighs> you realize how stupid that plan sounds, no, right? No, that's how For that to be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. <clears throat> all delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. Thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. Habrá por ahí un periódico, o sea, un mapa del periódico y lo del teléfono. Oh, la enviado. You, you don't think the killer got him, do you? Mr. Russell, I'm here. Freak's going to be here any second too. Go check your fat. Don't let me down. Voy tan lento. Ah, no puedo ir. That was fast. How do you know our fax machine number? KFAM and the Gallows reporter have a pretty long history. I'll go pick up that map then. Go, Forrest! The fax machine's in the Joder, office. Forrest. Other side Referencia. Of Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. Vale, el fax lo he visto antes. Okay. Que es donde os he dicho la impresora. The other end of the hall. Grab the fax from the machine. Easy. This must be it. Vale, tenemos Esto sería donde está él, ¿vale? He dicho que está arriba Uy, pero quiero ponerlo recto Ahí Él nos ha llamado desde arriba La escalera para bajar La cocina, o sea, la extensión 2 Hay que llamar a la extensión Según donde esté, claro Porque tenemos extensión 1, 2, 3 y 4 pero podemos llamar desde dónde? Desde aquí. Uy, estos cojones se pueden abrir. Curioso. Vale, bueno, voy a volver. Y a ver, porque esto va a ser un poquito más complicado. Tenemos que mover al asesino para que no atrape a, al tipo del periódico. Y va a ser con llamadas esto. Esto lo pongo aquí. No es que se vea muy, muy bien, pero bueno. Archivo sería extensión 1. La cocina sería extensión 2. La, la, la habitación del editor o la oficina del editor, la 3. Y el board room, la 4, la que tiene el fax. Que es donde está él ahora. Hey, did you get the fax? Sí. Yes, I have. Mr. Russell, you uh stay with us? I am. You get my fax? Sí. Yeah, I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage that. Okay, folks, we're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. Oof. Here's the situation. Uh. The whistling man searched every room in the hall up to the boardroom. And now, oh. he's in the office next door. Vale. It's now or never. It's Extension 4. better work. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Again, we want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number. And then move Maurice somewhere safe. ¿Dónde so, está él? What extension should I call? A ver, a ver, pero Maurice está en donde el fax? Pues entonces el asesino está aquí. Si llamo a la 4... Lo va a matar. Yo ahora lo llevaría a la 3, que sería eh, la del editor. Call the editor's office. The extension is 03. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? Tú tienes que ir. ¿Pero se van a cruzar o qué? A la cocina. A los archivos. Él va a ir para arriba. Espera, 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 espera. Hay que ir poco a poco. Otra sala, otra sala. Vamos a llamar a la cocina. He's right, Forrest. I can get another number ready. But we probably won't get to change our minds again. Where do you want me to call? A la cocina. 
Entonces irá para acá y podemos ir arriba Luego llamamos Aquí Y nos metemos en los archivos No, en la cocina Vale Cocina Y tú te vas a la sala del editor Es que no quiero que se crucen Al... Al archivo Uy, no puedo ir a... ¿Pero dónde estaba? Ah, no, no va a ver No Pero pensaba que podía llevarlo al editor Lo van a matar Lo van a matar, Lo van a matar. Me estoy muy nervioso Otra sala. Uh, second thought, let's dial another room. Forest. You're trying to get me killed, aren't you? I hope all your listeners realize that. No. No, tío, no, 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 no. ¿Cuánto hace que se guardo esto? Vale. Voy a cargar partida. No, 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 no. A ver, eh, lo siento. Pensaba que podíamos ir. Esto está al revés ahora. Pensaba que podíamos ir a la sala del editor. Que no sé dónde está él. El problema es que no sé dónde está Morris. No me entero. ¿A dónde llamo para dejar al asesino? Quiero que vaya... A los archivos Y entonces él se va La de conferencias es donde está él, ¿no? Está ahí él, está ahí él Forrest, this is no time for jokes Where should I call? Es justo donde está él O sea, vale, ya sabemos dónde está Al menos hemos descubierto algo importante Vale, entonces si el asesino está aquí, yo lo llevaría al, al archivo, a la oficina del editor. Lo primero que pensé, vamos. Y tú te vas a ir a la cocina. ¿A la cocina o al archivo? Al archivo. You're moving to the archives. Yeah. That makes sense. Go somewhere he's already. A ver si funciona. Not bad, Nash. I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? Make the call. Yes, sir. Calling now. A ver si va. Vale. It was all Peggy's idea. Credit goes to her. Ah, uh, don't mention it. The coast is clear. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then, making my move. I'll call when I get there. Conseguido. ¿En serio? Do you think he'll make it okay? I'm sure he'll be fine. But now, what do we do? We gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. Oh. We gotta think of something else. Claro, hay que quitar los archivadores. Maybe we could. Oh, calling coming. You ready? Hay una llamada. Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Alrighty, Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. No la he visto de momento. Right, let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. I can move the furniture out of the way, but not quickly or Buah. quietly. Hay que alejarlo. Podría encerrarlo en una sala. Could you lock him in a room? That probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. But the damn fire regulations say every door in the office has to unlock oh. from the inside. 
A ver qué se le ocurre. Ah, sí, está al lado. Vale, aquí. Okay. Oh my god, Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? No teléfono. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. No hay. Oh, we're gonna need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? Y con una radio? Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? Oh, yeah. I don't have one in my office, but what is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. <sighs> That might be what we need then. Is his portable radio still there? It should be. It's what he calls his work radio. It should be here in the archives. Well, uh, Chivo. Let me right. just take a Great job, Forrest. Looks like you picked the perfect Menos mal que elegido el archivo. He hadn't found it yet. Let's congratulate ourselves later. I found the radio. Bien. It's right where I thought it would. Menos mal que no puse la it's cocina. All coming together. I'm just going to turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. Voy a guardar por si chicos, que tengo miedo. Me tengo que repetir esto. Vale. Funciona la radio. ¿Y ahora qué? Claro. You just Oh, that's a Claro, ¿cómo lo va a hacer? But wait, we're the radio. We can just be quiet until you're ready. Claro. If you can do that, then Vale, el volumen al máximo. 189.16. I know that's your station number. But a good editor always double checks. Can you confirm that? Correcto. 189.16 The Scream Gallows Creek's best and only phone in talk show with me Force Nash and me Peggy Jesus Christ I've got okay. the radio on silent but I tuned it <coughs> Okay Now I just need to get to my office Sounds like we need to make another call Forrest. Where should we send the killer Ah vale ¿A dónde enviamos al asesino? A iría a la sala de conferencias. Call the boardroom. The extension is 04. Para que él pueda That subir. Might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office, but we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? Uy. El asesino tiene que ir para allá, no va a ir para la cocina. I'm sure. Make the call. Okay, calling the boardroom now. A ver. Va para allá. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? Eh, me voy a pasar por Rachel. My best impersonation of Maurice. I think that'll draw the killer in. What's your Mr. Russell impression? I think I gave that mask freak a slip. What a great plan this is, Pearl. Uh, I'll give you an A. Para hacer el mismo, ¿no? Ooh, call coming in. Here we go. I'm here. The 
radio set up in the secret archive. Vale. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I am. Uh, good question. It's under my desk, but uh, you can see under it. I've got a big. Let's go on there. That'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself, but that's where the kill is going. <coughs> I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. Mm -hmm. Your judgment has kept me alive so far, Nash. No me digas esto. What do you reckon? Guardo, pero vamos a si guardo. O sea. Ocultese bajo el escritorio, ocultese en su armario. Dentro del archivo secreto, ¿no? Cubículos lejos, ¿no? Estos dos son muerte. Bajo el escritorio o en su, yo diría, en su armario. Hide in your cabinet. All right. Well, this is it. A la suerte. I'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast now. Bajo esto. Don't say anything until I've had time to hide. We know the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. No podemos hablar. Listen to your old pal Russell Forrest and shut up. Forrest, I don't think that was enough time for him to hide. Wait, really? Oh shit. Kimia. Lo estaba matando, lo estaba matando, no, no, no. Vale. He ido demasiado rápido, chicos. Se escucha como. ¡Ah! Claro, no se ha escondido todavía. Pero no sé por qué me han salido las respuestas. I think it should be safe now, Forrest. That's it. No more hiding. Menos mal. I'm a tough old man. I've been on the beat longer than you've been alive. <laughs> Come on down, whistling man. Come and get a sandwich. Vamos. Ciérralo. Ciérrale. Al Silvador. Listeners. This is Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. And if you've just tuned in... See you in hell, kid! We've just locked up the whistling Wow. Man. Forrest, you beautiful bastard! Bueno, funcionado la segunda. I can't believe that actually worked! <laughs> I'm being honest, I can't believe it either. Thank God, it's over. I'll be off now. Gotta get out of here. Write up a few notes. Call a few friends. I'd feel safer waiting for the cops to come grab this freak with some company. Hey, maybe you and me could do an interview tomorrow. Bueno, hemos encerrado al asesino aquí arriba, chicos. Será que tal chips? I'll take that as a yes. Talk to you soon. No era fácil, ¿eh? There we are, folks. The whistling man is locked up. Let's all take a deep breath and play some killer tunes. <laughs> Madre like mía, it should be pretty easy from here on out. Right? No debería. Thank God that's over. I guess we got some downtime now. I could ask you some questions to kill the time. You're gonna interview me. A ver, una pregunta. You sure about that? You're not so scary. We've been working together like a week now, and you're still all shrouded in mystery. Soy yo una semana, eh? ¿Qué quieres saber? All right, shoot. What do you want to know? Question one. Tell me about your family. What? Come on, Peggy. That's too general. Okay. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? Nope. 
Now that's too specific. Hmm. Too specific? I... Do you have any siblings? I don't. I'm an only child, and my folks are dead. Oh, I'm sorry, Forrest. And... Oh, it's okay, Peggy. That's how it goes. Anyway, what about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop. Ah, no estamos en el aire. Esto no se está escuchando la radio. You are. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well, my folks went the same way as yours. Huh. What a coincidence. Yeah. My dad walked out when I was about 13. He'd been a wreck for a while. Then he got himself into a wreck. And, well, that was dad. Oh, yeah. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget dad so bad. She even made me take my stepdad's last name. Hmm. So I'm Peggy Weaver now. Anyway, Mr. Weaver got sick one day and my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Yeah, sorry. I was just trying to be... It's okay, I know. I'm sorry. I'm defensive about that name. Any siblings? Funny you mention that now. No. Not anymore. I had a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad. Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. Oh, no, I I could someone want at this hour? I don't know. Do you want to go check it out? Me? You sure you don't want to go? I can't leave the booth while we're on air. Hmm. One of Reggie's KFAM regulations. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. Gee, thanks, Peggy. <laughs> the buzzer's on the front door. See you in a bit. Han llamado al timbre. <laughs> y me ha dejado okay. la llave. Down to the first floor, then check the door. That's not opening. Esto no es, ¿no? Eh, vale, no sé, no sé ni salir de aquí, eh. O sea, así de nuevo soy. ¿Es esto? Sí. Es esto. Vale. ¿Eso de arriba? ¿Pues se puede ir? No. A ver este piso. Voy a verlo. Nada importante. Un montón de revistas. Vamos a ver, han dejado algo en el suelo, un cassette. Hey, tape. Play on air. Ponme en directo. No veo a nadie por fuera. ¿Creéis que es el asesino? El que ha dejado esta... Esta cinta. Desde luego no se le ve. Eso puede entrar. Uy. Vale, hace falta una llave. Y hay una salida, desde luego, a esa zona. Bueno, comprobemos el cassette. Me está pidiendo que lo ponga en directo. Y arriba no puedo ir. No sé qué fuimos antes, vale. En el baño no hay nadie, ¿no? Estoy ya asustado, ¿eh? No sé qué me puedo encontrar. Tengo una cinta. Who was there? I didn't see who it was. Are they still out there? No. They left as soon as I went down there. They pushed a cassette through the door. It says, play me on air. All right. Well, turn the music Vamos off. Vamos a ver. Apagamos la música y la ponemos. Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to pay the price. Time to pay for lies. Time to sit there. I will punish you. De ellos. I did not enjoy that. No. What the hell was that? I. Oh, Forrest, we're still on air. Say something. Hello. 
Folks, the tape you just heard was passed through our door only moments ago. I don't know how or why that came through our door with the killer locked up, but be careful, Gallows Creek. Stay home and stay safe. Tal cual. Give us a call if you need help. You can get us on 911. Le pongo otra vez, eh? Gallo, Gallows Creek, time. Ha modificado, ha montado las voces de forma que eh, da un mensaje perturbador. Llamada. Collar, you're on 189.16, The Scream, with... Ash, shut up and listen to me. Mollis. Mr. Russell, what's wrong? Are you okay? I said listen, he's gone. The whistling man is gone. Se ha ido. He's gone? What happened? Well, after our call, I cleared the stairs and went home. I phoned some buddies. We came back here to keep watch. Oh, yeah. Then what happened? I'm getting to that. We came back here. Door was shut, just as I left it. We had a couple of drinks, and, well, there was a bunch of us, and we were all armed. They thought we could teach the freak a lesson before the cops got him. Oh. Did you let him escape? Of course we did it. I demand you retract that accusation. Damn it, Maurice. Just tell me what happened with this plan of yours. This was not my idea. The guys just grabbed their weapons and unlocked the door. <coughs> I braced myself and... Then? Then nothing. The room Sabía was ido. empty. The door was still locked. How the hell did he get out? Are you hecho? sure it was still locked? I'm telling you. It was locked. No way out of there. None. Maybe. I mean, I know it's crazy, but if he's back from the dead, then. What's that? Do you think he's some kind of ghost, Peggy? Some fantasma. If we explain things, I mean, how do we know he's not? Moni, there's no way. Oh, did you say something, Maurice? Baloney. Moni, I said baloney. Look, I don't want anything more to do with this. I'm clearing out a dodge, and I recommend you and everyone listening do the same. He seems really spooked. <laughs> Wouldn't you be if you got attacked by a serial killer who turned out to be a demonic spirit? <sighs> He's not a demon, Peggy. Demonio. Yeah, you're probably right. But what do we do now? La una y cuatro minutos. <clears throat> Están pasando demasiadas cosas, eh? Thank you again, Mrs. McKenzie, for the helpful tip. The bagger at the grocery store cannot whistle. Mm -hmm. We'll remove her from the suspect list. Let's go to a break. I need you for a second. All right, folks. We need to take a quick break. This one's for all those folks out there keeping the hatches battened. Well, yeah. Hi. All right, Peggy, what's up? I pushed a cassette under my door. Go play it. Okay. Uh, sure. Just go get it. Un cassette. ¿Qué ha pasado? Of air. Esta es que no sea el dicho. Press me a sub of air. O ella ha escrito, o ella ha hecho el cassette. No estoy seguro. Quitamos este. Or try your call again. Straight to voicemail? My god. Are there any professionals at KFAM? This is Gina Franklin. I'm calling because your backwater station has not honored our agreement. We gave you Mr. Snatcher's newest single, the kind of honor you never had and probably never will again. And we've still not received any information about when you're fitting it into your busy program. I'll be frank, I didn't want you as part of this debut, but Mr. Snatcher, due to his prior friendship with Mr. Nash. Prior and current friendship, Gina. Forrest Nate, you alright? Don't worry about Gina, you know how she is. But yeah, can't wait for you to hear the new single, man. I think Final Breath is my best work yet. I really hope you and your listeners like it. And man, if you ever find your way this side of the pond, 
Let me know. We'll have to catch up. If Final Breath isn't played on your airwaves by the end of Mr. Nash's show tonight, the next call will be much less friendly. That was Roddy Snatcher, Boris. Vale. You know, Roddy Snatcher. Eh, somos amigos. Yeah, Roddy and I are old friends. Oh, I love Roddy. I will always find you was my son. Está mal, no sé por qué. I wish we still had it in rotation. No puedo bajarlo. Oh my god, I can't believe you know Roddy Snatcher. And I can't believe you didn't tell me he sent you his new single. We have to play Final Breath. Where is it? ¿Dónde está? No, no sé. They mailed it to K fan, not to me. Then it's got to be downstairs at reception. La recepción. I can't believe Barbara didn't say anything. I mean, well, if that fiasco last Friday about the missing knife and easy track is Vale, vamos a escuchar la nueva canción de nuestro amigo que además es famoso. Recording station music for personal use. I think we're still missing a few tracks actually. Well, go get Roddy's song before Gina sues the pants off us. Voy para allá y algo pasará, ya veréis. No creo que sea tan sencillo. Mira, una trampa con queso. Para un ratón. Me la guardo aquí. Vamos a bajar. A ver si encontramos. Uy. Pero se ha dicho que era por aquí. Eh... Vale. Ah, no, era por aquí, perdón. Se me olvida. A ver, ¿dónde está el nuevo single de este hombre? ¿Por qué no tengo ese cassette? Ah, a lo mejor es el cassette que había en el otro lado. No creo, ¿no? He hecho la recepción. Te falta la llave. No puedo abrir esto. <coughs> ah, es este. Final Breath. Es que es un disco, no es una, un cassette. Asesino, ¿estás por aquí? Hay más tapas para ratones, ¿eh? No es la única. The Key Farm, 189.16. Venga, está súper emocionante. Vamos a poner este disco. A ver qué pasa. Eso lo guardo. Hey, did you get it? Got sí. it. Let's get this on the air. Ah! Gallows Creek. What? I'm pleased to say we're in for a much needed treat. Final Next, brave. Courtesy of the British sensation himself is a track you won't hear everywhere. Here's Final Breath by Roddy Snatcher. Wow. God, Roddy's the best. Well, the liberal, eh? And more importantly, we should be safe from the worst of Gina Franklin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoops. I can it, chicos. I can just play it on loop later. Oh shoot. La canción I just noticed nueva esa. I really hope it's nothing serious. Una llamada, chicos. Tenemos, quitamos la música. Evening caller. This is Forrest Nash. Host of 189.16. The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. This hmm. is Murphy. Murphy. <laughs> Hello, Murphy. Uh, what have you got for us tonight? Two things, Forrest. First, happy birthday to my son, Fernando. Feliz cumpleaños, Fernando. Happy birthday. And man, being his daddy has changed my life. I've learned how to live, how to laugh, most importantly, how to love. Oh, happy birthday, Fernando. Happy birthday, Fernando. Thanks. <coughs> And now, my other thing. I found this on the web. And I'm putting the word out to this so-called killer. You think you're tough, huh? Big man with a big knife, huh? Ruben, come oh. face me. A true warrior. Oh, stars. Yellow waste disposal plan. Lo está retando. Eh, es una mala idea, Murphy. This is a bad idea, Murphy. I 
got all the tapes in Master Robbie's Dojo series. Oops. So get ready, whistling man. You just let loose the junkyard dog. Holy Murphy, could you hear me? Oh no. No, dear. And there he goes. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your fingers crossed for Murphy Tal cual. as he tries to become our hometown hero. <sighs> anyway, we'll be right back after this commercial. Anuncio, eh, pues voy a poner, yo no sé. Vamos. You need to play a commercial cassette. Ya lo he hecho. Straight to voicemail? My God. Are there any professionals at KFAM? This is Gina Franklin. I'm calling... Ah, esto no es un anuncio. <risa> Entonces, ¿cuál es el anuncio? ¿Este? Creo que sí. Teddy Gallows Jr. is a family man, a devout Christian and a proud patriot. Teddy Gallows Jr. Creo, ¿eh? is Gallows Creek. Like his father and all his fathers before him, Teddy Gallows Jr. has worked hard to create... Bueno, chicos, el asesino eh, anda suelto. ...and make Gallows Creek a good place to raise a family. Voy a bajar el volumen a esto. Flojito. Y... No sabemos si se está acercando a nosotros. De momento intentó matar a dos personas y conseguimos salvarlas. Bueno, a una a medias, pero luego lo, lo solucionamos. Yo tengo un poco de sospecha de nuestra compañera, ¿eh? No que sea mala, pero... ¿Qué creéis? ¿Hay alguna sorpresa por ahí? Esperemos que no. No me deja salir porque tengo cosas que hacer. Vale. La trampa para ratones. La voy a poner ahí. Vale, cerraron las carreteras de McCreevy Street. Great A asshole. Belinda Cartwright isn't super herself, but she's not. Yeah, we don't have any more of those ads to air tonight, do we? No, just the one. Ah, vale. Era la última. I have to ask though. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Uh, he set the home run record for Gallows Creek High. Uh, of course he's one of those guys. Mm -hmm. Yep, he played lots of sports back in the day, and he never lets anyone forget it. Right. Let's Should just get back to the show. <coughs> well, folks, hearing that reminds me that every vote matters. <laughs> that ad really made me want to take a swing at Teddy Gallows. You mean take a swing for Teddy Gallows? Yeah, sure. Let's find out from our next caller who's got their ah, vote. I don't know. We got a caller. You know what to do. Okay. Hello, caller. You're live on the screen right, with me, Forrest Nash. Oi. Oi, oi. Guinness. Who's there? Who is this? Está bien, necesitas ayuda? Are you okay? Do you need help? Forrest? He called me. And she'll be the phone. He's coming for me. Uh oh. Jesus. Okay, listen, caller, don't panic. We've done this a few times now. We can help you. A few times All right. already? So you saved them or we sure did. You're in safe hands. Okay. Okay. We're gonna help you. Can you tell me your name, caller? Virginia Sullivan, doctor. Please, Virginia, if you're gonna be okay. Please don't let me die. I won't. Just calm down. Tell me where you are right now. What's your address? Where are you? I'm. I'm. Oh God. Eh, me escondo. Maybe you can hide in your house. He'll find me. I know he'll find me. Saliendo. Can you run out back? Oh. Llamo a un vecino. Is there a neighbor you can call for help? No. Everyone's away. Todo malo con esta chica. Vale. Live by a frat house. Yes. They're having a party. That take out coming in all night. Fun covered in beer cans. They're getting wasted. And I'm about to get Oh god. Virginia, what's the name of the frat? 
Dios. Al lado de una fraternidad. Where she was, I might know, but <coughs> Wait, the takeout. If we can get takeout to the frat, we can get a message to them to go and help. Vale. Virginia, who did they order takeout Bien pensado. From? I don't know. Eh, tranquila. Don't worry. We'll figure it out. I can't do this. Well, folks, Seems like our Virginia. Ha colgado, Virginia. While we try to figure out what takeout to order, here's some music for your own midnight snacks. Josh. Peggy, what places do takeout in Gallows Creek? Off the top of my head? Uh, well. There's the barbecue place, Grilling Spree, and you can order from Chalupa Cabras. Chalupa Cabras. Oh, and of course we have Ponte. La pizzeria Ponte. That's it, I think. A llamar. All right. We'll call each place and ask who they deliver to tonight. That's not going to work. Take out client privilege. Claro. What? There was a lot of competition back in the day. Things got ugly. It's a long story. But what we can do is this. We figure out where the frat boys order from, call the takeout pretending to be from the frat, mm -hmm. place an order, and include a note asking them to call the station. There's no other way, is there? Not that I can see. Vamos allá. Well, let's not waste any time then. That's the spirit. Got any suggestions on where to look? Check the offices for anything food related. And maybe the kitchen downstairs. You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door now. Thanks, Peggy. Vale, oficina y debajo de la puerta la o sea, la cocina. God, where to start? What would make me order from somewhere if I were a partying frat boy? Pizzas. Diría yo. Food critic, right? Chad or Brad or... Vale, me ha dicho que busque en la cocina. Debe ser esto. Cafetería, mira. Sitios nuevos, chicos. Esponjas. Esto es la cocina, sin duda. ¿Qué es lo que tengo que buscar aquí? la radio suena nuestra propia emisora de fondo hey, esto es de pizza interesting offer I wonder how well Gallo's high performed una cerveza gratis en cada pedido por cada punto que consigue el instituto el instituto de Gallo's Greek en el partido de este martes tenemos número, ¿eh? Me llevo esto. Hay una recreativa que está rota. Vale, pues nada, para arriba. Eh, también dijo la oficina. No sé si tendremos que buscar algo. Recepción. He visto a alguien. Me parece ver a alguien, ¿eh? Me ha dado un poco de yuyu. Escalera. Cerrado. For now. Privado y cerrado. No molestar. Porque hay líquido por todos los sitios. Está súper mal cuidado esto. La música. Va a pasarme algo malo porque esa música no ayuda, ¿eh? Sí, dígame, soy yo mismo. ¿eh? Vale, no sé cómo decirte esto. Pero creo que deberíamos dejarlo. Espero que podamos seguir siendo amigos. Firmado Brad. Me debes cinco pavos por las entradas del festival. Muriendo solo. ¿Esto qué? Nada importante. Hay muchas cosas. ¿Qué es esto? Esto es un juego. No sé si es para después o algo. Aquí hay un espantapájaros, un gorro de granjero, estatua de tractor, fardos de heno dorados, estatua de cerdo. ¿Esto será para alguna ayuda que tengamos que hacerle a alguien? Sin duda, ¿eh? Me lo llevo. Tengo dos objetos. 
Voy a dejarlos arriba, chicos Y ya me pongo a mirar la oficina A ver, no puedo correr mucho A ver Esto Lo voy a guardar En la mesa A ver si ya me sirve con la pizza Sí 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 Sí, ¿eh? Let's make the call. Okay, Forrest, Espero que funcione esto de la pizza. Ok, Forrest, ¿cuál es A la pizzería. Oh, Ponty's Pizza. You got it. A ver si hay suerte. Ponty's Pizza is on the line. Hello. Ponty's Pizza, may I take your order? Eh, fraternidad de la Batman calling. We're in major need of foods for dudes. Eh, and... <laughs> Pizza for Oh, man. I got a frat to feed. So give me that slow roast pizza. Oh, a fine choice. But that will take three hours. You sure? Never mind. Just give me the garlic bread. <laughs> ¿Dónde Okay. And now we wait. We should put a song on. Agreed. Okay. This one goes out to our delivery workers. Vale, hemos llamado, chicos. Parece que enviamos la nota. A ver si nos da tiempo a que los de la fraternidad puedan ayudar a la chica de antes. Which of the takeout places would you order from? To save Virginia? No. Wh where would you actually eat? Oh, I mean, they're all pretty equal. De buenos. You mean equally good? Yeah, not Ponty. He's not Ponty. Right. So between grilling spree and chalupa coppers. I mean, it depends. ¿A cuál le gusta do más? I want a plate full of meat, or do I want really, really good nachos? It can change depending on the day, you know. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, maybe I. Hold that thought, Forrest. We've got a call coming in. A llamada voy a dejar la pizza. Digo yo, ¿no? A ver quién llama. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Hey, hey, hey. this is Fredman Booker. Ahí está llamando. We got some calling, Brandon. Hope to call this number. <laughs> yes. Bunker, this is Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Scream. And is this Goose? <laughs> oh man, it's totally you, isn't it, Goose? No es una broma, que no. Bunker, this is an emergency. I. Nice try, Goose. Oh. I no se lo cree. Listen, I need you to. Goose, come get beer. Your brother's are waiting for you. I'm not Goose. I. How can I prove this to you? Oh, let me get a second opinion on this. Holy, no se lo creo, tío. What do you think? <laughs> Great idea. Norman the Barbarian says only the radio man can control. Vale, ¿cuál quieres? So, play us the flow. Wait, really? What? The flow? Norman the Barbarian demands it. Okay, okay. I'll play the damn song. Yo no tengo the flow. No tengo the flow.
Espera Ah, sí, lo tengo Susto Thank God. Listen, you've got to get over to your neighbor's house, all of you. Just say no more. Holy. Bunkers moving the house. Pero. Forest, line two. Línea dos, chicos. Hello, you're live on 189.6. Será ella. The stream. Forest, it's the killer. He's at the door. Please. Dios. Oh my God, it's it's you, isn't it? God. I didn't talk, I promise. Oh, thank God. He's gone. Oh, thank God. He's gone. Oh, thank God. Oh, Oh, and thank you to yeah. Blanchard and his fraternity brothers. Some heroes wear capes. Some wear sheets as togas. Mm -hmm. Hey, Forrest. Oof. Did you hear what Virginia said earlier? Clive, what was that all about? Clive, I didn't talk. Clive, you Clive. You know? There's a janitor here at the station named Clive. But your guess is as good as mine. Right, folks. Seems we may have a lead. If any of you know a suspicious Clive, then please call in. It could save lives. In the meantime, looks like we have another caller. Yamada? Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. <coughs> it's great to speak with you, Forrest. As a local small business owner, oh, I find this all horrifying. A killer roaming the streets of our fair town? Terrible. I hear you there. It's a scary time for everyone in Gallows Creek. How are you holding up? You somewhere safe tonight? Yes, Forrest, I am. I'm here at work in my small It's a safe, family-friendly place. Um, ¿y cuál es tu oh, what small business do you own? Oh, well... I'm not really big on promotion, but uh, since you ask, it's Party's Pizza! The best <laughs> and only pizza place in town! Come on down, I get yourself a cracking deal on our two for one pa God damn it, Ponty, no! No free ads! Otra vez, Ponty, tío. I mean, I guess we can't be that mad at him. Calling Ponty's did save for Virginia. I can be mad, Peggy, that sort of thing just... Uh, I can be mad. Look, he's gone now. We already have somebody else on the line. Just take a deep uh, breath and let's keep going. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand-in. Hi. Hello? Oh, Jim. Am I on air? Sure are, caller. What's your name? And what have you got for us tonight? Name's Eugene Stein. And I've got a heart full of love, Forrest. I'm hanging out in the middle of the maze maze, listening to your show. Oh, looking up oh, the stars and waiting for her. You got a special lady coming out to see you. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Molly. We planned to get lost in the maze maze tonight. To take Should our este, first no? journey together into the love labyrinth. That's why I'm calling, actually. I, I thought she'd be here an hour ago. And since I've listened all night to how cool you play it, I thought you were the perfect guy to ask. A ver. Should I call her up and ask if she's coming or wait and see? For real, kid? If you've been listening all night, do you really need to ask me? Yes, that's why I'm calling. Como sabemos? Here's what I was looking for. Um, ¿qué ah, what the hell. <laughs> Stay and wait. Forrest, that's a terrible... Eugene, please go home. Your parents must be worried <laughs> sick. My parents are dead, actually. But, uh... Oh, jeez. Yeah, I guess it's not the night. Hang on. Here's some... Ay, le va a atacar, tío. I guess she came after all. 
Molly! I'm in the middle! Está en el medio él. No, tío, lo sabía. Molly can't whistle. No, no, this is supposed to be the best night of my life. Not the worst. Te sacaremos de esta. Stay calm, Eugene. We'll get you Está aquí, chicos, están por medio. I'm about to die a virgin. Listen, Eugene, breathe, hide, and call back in a minute. We'll get you out. De casualidad ya he I... encontrado esto. I'll do it for Molly. But please, hurry. Well, listeners, while Peggy and I deliberate, here's a track for all you lovers out there. Eh, por ejemplo, yo que sé, para enamorados, pues eh, este va. Vale. Sí. It's David Scopo with Moonlight. How the hell am I supposed to get him through the maze maze? You know Barbara, our receptionist, she's a maze maze fanatic. Menos mal que ya lo he encontrado. Maybe we should call Barbara then. Lo tengo aquí ya. She's so big on the maze maze. We could, but I don't actually know her number. But she probably has maze maze stuff somewhere. Go and see what you can find. That'll hopefully be enough. Uh, Encontrado. Which one is Barbara again? Barbara, you know Barbara. Uh, Cuando Horace, consigues algo antes de tiempo en un juego, ¿eh? Help me out, Peggy. She's the receptionist. Sits at reception. Never does any work because she's talking to Brad all day. Ring any bells? Right. Yeah. Sorry. I guess it's just the stress. Of no excuses. Just go and find something to help us. Lo tengo. Any luck? Yeah, I found a map for the maze maze in the trash. Why was it in the trash? But never mind. It doesn't matter right now. That's a question for Barbara later. Eugene called while you were away. He's on line one. Welcome back to 189.16 The Scream. I hope you lovers like that track. And I hope we can help our lover in the maze maze. Eugene, you're back on air. <sighs> I'm lost, Forrest. Yes. I just ran and I, I don't know where I am. I guess I got right here. Crossroad, facing a tractor statue. Stand front of a statue of a tractor. There are hay bales painted gold on my right. Vale, tranquilo. Está frente a la estatua del tractor, es decir, aquí. Está en un cruce, frente a una estatua del tractor y con fardos de heno dorados a su derecha. Queremos que salga de aquí, chicos. La salida... <coughs> sin duda lleva por todo el camino. Entonces, ahora... Hay que llevarlo... 5, 4, 3, 2, 1... Vale, del 2, si lo llevo a la izquierda, nos acercaremos. Si lo llevo a la derecha, he hecho al lado de los senos dorados. Creo que izquierda, chicos. Yo diría izquierda. Go left. Tiene el caballo a la, a la izquierda. <coughs> el caballo es el 4. Está aquí. Está justo aquí. Ahora tiene que ir para atrás. Para atrás. Go backwards. Está aquí. Ahora queremos que vaya a la izquierda, chicos. Go left. Está persiguiendo con una motosierra. Uh, 
front of me, and a scarecrow behind me. Nothing to my sides. En pan tapa que los detrás. Es el 6. O sea, ha venido por aquí. Está nada a los lados, ha dicho. Tengo un espantapájaros detrás. Derecha. Y enfrente no ve nada. Ah, está en este cruce. Debería ir a la derecha. Creo, eh. Llegará hasta arriba, ¿no? Está vivo, ¿eh? ¿Eh? Acabo de pasar un silo de maíz. A ver, técnicamente a la derecha se, se iría ya. Derecha. Vamos. Lo hemos salvado, chicos. Vamos. Uf, salvado. Bien. Y todo por Molly, eh. Woohoo. I think it went pretty well, all told. <laughs> I think you're right. By the way, why do you think Molly missed their date? Do you think she's okay? Unfortunately for Eugene, I think she probably never left home. La una cuarenta y nueve. Está pasando la noche muy despacito. And thank you for calling in, Mr. Walton. We'll make sure to add the town librarian to our list of suspicious Clives. <laughs> Remember. Report a Clive to stay alive. Next caller is up, Forrest, so take it away. Caller, you're through to Llamada. Forrest Nash on 189.16, The Scream. Hey, wonderful show tonight, Forrest. Eh, gracias. I don't know about wonderful, but, uh, thanks. What's your name, caller? Uh, you can call me Don. Don. Play my tune, Forest. Your tune. Tu sure. Long ride home. That old song. Sure, we got it. I think I played it the other day. Thanks. It'll be good to hear it again. All right, folks. No sé Coming es. up is that old classic. Uh, Forest, I don't think you're gonna find sí, that no song. Tenemos. What do you mean? I played it a few nights ago. I know, but uh, we don't have it anymore. What are you talking about? I threw it away. You threw okay. it in the trash? No, I uh, I threw it out the window earlier Con la today. ventana? <laughs> Becky, that's a bit extreme, isn't it? Brad was annoying me all afternoon. He played it on repeat because he knows I don't like it. Oops. So, I grabbed it and threw it right out of one of the office windows. Va a haber que salir, eh? Not my finest hour, but I can only take so much. All right. So, uh, what do we do instead then? Let's just play a different song. Okay. We've got more important things to think about anyway. Gotcha. Okay, folks. Here comes some unrequested music. Sorry about that, Don. Maybe try again tomorrow night. Sorry. Hold on. I know it. You love him. This is Roddy Snatcher with his new single, Final Breath. Qué cosa más raro del disco, eh? Estará por fuera. Of all the songs to request, why did it have to be that one? Gee, Peggy, what did the barn finds ever do to you? Wrote that song for one. It gets hmm. real old when you're forced to listen to it on repeat for years. <sighs> why couldn't they just request Roddy? Oh, Forrest, scrap the song. We have another caller. Uh, Sorry to cut the music short, folks. Callers take priority tonight. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. This is Forrest Nat. 
Oh, yeah, more fish. Oh, thank God. It's me again. El que se quería pelear. Hey, what, uh, what brings you back? Oh, the killer got me, man. Ay, Dios. I, uh, why did I ever trust the god name? Estaba claro que era peligroso oh, eso. I warned you not to. Hindsight is 2020, okay? Y tiene un hijo, tío. Forrest, we need to do something. Goddamn police of me. He came for the gallows waste disposal plan. Beat on me, man. Carry me inside and lock me in a dumpster. Nah. I got a mess like this. Oh. Oh, goddamn. I smell smoke. Uh -oh. I don't think he started a fire. Hold on, Murphy. We'll call for help right now. You gotta hurry, man. I need someone here now, or I'm gonna die. Están quemando donde están metidos, eh? On it. All right. Now just come on. Where's the pantalla of residuos? The residuos. Aquí. Hi. Yes, I'd like to report a fire over at the gallows waste disposal plant. It's an emergency. Está aquí. What do you mean it's not operational? No está operativo. Backup vehicle. No hay vehículo. Hay que enviar a alguien. Oh God damn it! Forrest, that evil son of a bitch slashed the tires on the town's only fire engine. Oh, ha roto las ruedas. But I have a few friends who live nearby. Maybe one of them can save her. Where do they live? My friend Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield and Romero Street, and Catherine lives on the west end of Myers Lane. And there's Jericho on the east end of Myers Lane, but he's old, really old. Aquí no vamos. Okay, I'll check the map, see who would be best to do this. Yo qué sé. Estoy viendo el mapa, sí, pero vamos a ver una cosa. Hay que llamar a varios. No entendí. Esto lo puedo poner como que es el sitio de los residuos. Vale, hay alguien que vendría. Eso es el tren. <coughs> no entra muy bien de quién, de quién es quién, ¿eh? ¿Qué hago? ¿Qué pulso? Hay que tener en cuenta que la McGrady Street está cerrada. Los residentes no podrán acceder a las carreteras entre Rogers Avenue y Handonfield Road. Rogers Avenue, Romero Street de la una. No me puede repetir esta mujer dónde está cada uno. Dios mío, va a ser imposible si no, si no me lo apunto, ¿no? Y es día 3, con lo cual está cerrada. Oye, ¿podemos hablar un momento? Sí. Espera. Eh, yo tengo aquí como unos punzones que los puedo poner. Pero no se puede pasar por la calle. No puedo acceder a las carreteras entre Rogers Avenue y Haddonfield Road. Rogers Avenue. ¿Veis la avenida Rogers? Aquí. ¿Y la otra? Haddonfield. Handonfield No la encuentro la de Handonfield Maldición Si se está muriendo está muerto ya ¿eh? Handonfield Estará detrás del Debe estar porque no lo veo Vale eh... Royal Avenue es esta Ok Es esa no se puede... No se puede ir. El lado este de McGrady Street estará cerrado del 2 al 9. McGrady Street. El lado este. Norte, sur, este. Entonces, esto es todo esto de aquí. Esto lo voy a dejar en otro sitio. Si me dejan, por favor. Si no, no voy a poder. La mías. Lo voy a bajar un poco, que no veo nada. Míralo, esta es la otra. 
Entonces, el lado este es esta parte de aquí, de esta calle. Dice... El lado este de Market Street está cerrado. Los residentes no podrán acceder a las carreteras entre Rogers Avenue y Hampton Field Road. Entre esta y esta. Es decir, no se puede acceder a ninguna de estas carreteras. O sea, ni esto, ni esta parte. Vale. Claro, ellos saben, yo se lo hice bien claro. No, no se puede pasar, se puede pasar por aquí arriba. Por aquí. Pero todo esto no se puede. No se puede pasar. Es un poco raro, pero es la información que tenemos. Entonces, si alguien vive aquí, si sí puede, ¿no? O ninguna de estas calles se puede. Pues estoy un poco rayado, ¿eh? No podrán acceder a las carreteras. Ninguna de estas, ni esta. Hay que dar como la vuelta. Creo, ¿eh? Ayúdame. All right, Forrest, who should I call? Who can help Murphy? Pues si no lo sé, ¿dónde está Murphy? Where is Murphy again? Forrest, really? He just told us he's at the Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. Y los otros, los otros. Ok, ok, sorry, I forgot. Pero ¿dónde están los otros? Que lo has dicho muy rápido. No, no, me dice, no me dice de quién vive aquí, en dónde. O sea, lo ha dicho una vez y ya está. Por favor, repítemelo. All right, Forrest, who should I call? Who can help Murphy? Alex. Call Alex. All right, give me a no, second. No, tío, tío, la vamos a liar. Espérate que guarde antes. Se acaba de autoguardar hace un poquito. Lo guardo aquí también. Si es que no sé dónde está cada uno, tío. Lo ha dicho una vez de dónde era cada uno. They're on the way. They'll call from the plant. You can direct them from there. Well, let's hope they get there in time. A ver, Alex ha ido allí. He elegido bien, de casualidad. Forrest, I'm getting a call. Vamos. Are you sure you can't? ¿Qué? What's happening, Peggy? ¿Qué pasa? No puede pasar. Alex was too far away, too slow. The plant burned down. It collapsed. So Murphy is. Poor Fernando is gonna be crushed. No era Alex. Es que estaba claro. Si es que tío. Vamos a ver una cosa. Aquí el problema es que yo no me he quedado donde estaba cada uno. Entonces, no es Alex, chicos. Alright, Forrest, who should I call? Who can help Murphy? Al abuelo, Jericho. Call Jericho. Alright, give me a second. Es que, tío, no, no, no. Lo hizo una vez solo. Es imposible que se te quede así de rápido. They're on the way. They'll call from the plant. You can direct them from there. Well, let's hope they get there in time. Este creo que era viejo, ha dicho. Como que estaba cerca, pero era, era un hombre mayor. Forrest, I'm getting a call. A ver. ¿Tampoco? Are you sure you can't? ¿Vas en serio? What's happening, Peggy? ¿Tampoco? Uh, old man Jericho wasn't fast enough. Era muy I don't viejo. Know why I even mentioned him, but I did. The plant burned down. It collapsed. <laughs> Joder, tío. Bueno, pues ya por descarte, ¿no? Por descarte, la llamada era. Who should I call? A la chica. Who can help Murphy? Catherine. Call Catherine. All right, give me a second. Y era importante el tema de, de que estaba esto bloqueado, ¿no? Creo. A ver. They're on the way. They'll call from the plant. No hay más, eh. O sea, si, si también me dice que no, es que no se le puede salvar. De ninguna forma. Dudo que el juego te ponga tres opciones para que ninguna Call valga. It's Catherine. She and Murphy are now both on the line. Vale, vale, vale. Hello, Catherine, are you there? What, uh, what, what's happening at the plant? The whole damn thing is up in smoke. 
Ha llegado Catherine, ¿eh? Dios. ¿Puedes algo eh, a residuos? Go to waste disposal. No, 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 tío, no. No, 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 ¿Qué le digo, tío? Eh, ¿Ves algo, Murphy? Murphy, can you see anything at all? Yeah, I got a little flashlight. Vale. Reciclaje. Reciclaje. What does it say on the newspaper? Reciclaje. Go to recycling. Come on, Catherine. Tensión. Murphy, do you know what part of the plant you're in? ¿Ves algo? ¿Oye, es algo, Murphy? Do you hear anything, Murphy? Put the receiver up to the lid. ¿Cómo es eso? Eso es el compactador o la tituladora. ¿Cómo lo puedo saber? Compactador. Go to the crusher. Ay Dios. No era. Vale, está en uno de esos tres. What does it say on the newspaper? Henderson. Open the Henderson container. Sagrada Murphy. Corre, corre, corre. ¿Se salvan o no? Atención. ¿Se ha salvado? Wow. Bueno, hubiese muerto, ¿eh? Hemos elegido todas las opciones malas. Sí, con un hijo. ¿Cómo se te ocurre, Murphy? ¿Cómo se te ocurre? Hey, you just get home to your son, okay? Will do, Forrest. Oof. Well, folks, Gallows Creek has two folk heroes tonight, Murphy and Catherine. I'm sure their deeds won't soon be forgotten. Madre mía. Great job, Forrest. No time to celebrate, though. We got a caller. You know what to do. All right, folks. Another of our good citizens is on the line. Let's see what they have to say. No para el juego, tiene un ritmo alucinante. The Scream, with me, your host, Forrest Nash. Forrest, Teddy Gallows Jr. here. I just want to say that my thoughts and prayers are with my Gallows Creek neighbors. 
during this office. Oh, it's and Mr. Gallows, are you in danger? We need to be a town of law and order. We need cops who have the tools and funding they need to keep us safe. Okay, Teddy. We... I know. You're an outsider to our little town here, Forrest. But you're really stepping up the bat for us all tonight. I just want to say thank you for taking a swing for Gallows... Jolín, de la anuncia. Yes. Eh, vale, gracias, Teddy. Uh, right. Thanks, Teddy. Now, are you... Teddy, you lowlife. This is not the time Oops. to promote your damn campaign. I just want to make sure our town is safe and prosperous. Yes. That's why the Gallows Family Factory, founded by my father, Theodore C. Gallows, God rest his soul, which employs over 200... Teddy, unless you've got an emergency, I'm cutting you off. You know what? I do have a problem. A problem that's ruining our town. Do you know what it is? Yeah, how about the goddamn serial killer? The problem is that woman. Jolín, tío, sigue con la política. Linda Cartwright. Oh, here we go. She just isn't one of us. Linda Cartwright is un-American, unstable, and... You're not better than anyone, Teddy. Just because you inherited half the town, it... Your producer sounds a little unstable, too. Don't you dare speak to me that way. Cut him off, Peggy. I can guarantee this kind of thing will not happen when I take office. The moral decay of... Corta, corta. And that's enough of Teddy Gallows Jr. for one lifetime. I always feel disgusting Keep after hearing song. him talk. Just play an ad for us? I need a minute. We'll be right back after these messages. A ver. A ver si esta sirve. The world famous annual Gallows Creek Harvest Festival. Ah, sí, el festival. Is back. We got it all out on Giblet Field. Vale, puedo hablar con ella o algo? No. Princess Harvest Pageant, Harvest Queen Pageant, Cotton Candy. Te puse el mismo anuncio de, del capítulo de ayer. Estás bien. Vale, no puedo hacer nada por aquí. Ay, leñes, lo ponía aquí, tío. Holy, mira que miré el mapa y miré el mapa y no veía eso. Miraba y miraba y no encontraba esto, tío. Alex vive en la esquina de Hamden Field Road. Catherine, en fin. Oh, qué fallo. Esto se hubiese colocado en el sitio adecuado y hubiésemos podido luego calcular qué calle estaba más cerca. Bueno, al guardar partida y cargar, pues lo hemos podido hacer. Pero como no veía esto, está como muy disimulado con el color, pues me he perdido. Pero es eso. Llamada. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me. Forest Nash. A ver. Alguien desesperado. Uh, hello, caller. Who is this? I need the police. I'm Forest Nash. I, <clears throat> I'm standing in for 911 tonight. What, what's wrong? There's a guy hunting me and my friends. I, I think he's killed some of them already. Ostras. Ya ha matado gente. That's him. He's just outside. I can see him from up here. God damn it. She's just a kid. ¿Puedes correr? Is there a way out? Can you run? Oh my god. Oh my god. You stay with me, kid. Focus. I can't do this. Yes, you can. Focus. Tell me, what's your name? <sighs> está, está atacando, eh, Sweetie, gente. you can do it. What's your name? Carrie. Carrie. Good, good. Carrie, listen to me. We're gonna get you out of there. All right? Now, where are you? The old murder house. 
La casa de los asesinatos. Pero, pero. Yo qué sé. Oh, tío, yo qué sé, yo qué sé, no tengo ni idea. ¿Dónde la llevo al baño, va? Go to the bathroom. Okay, I'll... Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Vale, el baño no es una buena idea. No te muevas. La pilla. Susto me ha dado, tío. Who's on the phone, Carrie? The cops? It's just a joke, jeez. Wait. Madre mía, yo iba a cagar partida ya. Ah, al principio. Estás loco, Jimmy. Jimmy, this is a pretty sick thing to do. What? It's whistling night. That little idiot. Holy. Whistling night? It's a stupid tradition, especially stupid since that one kid died back in. Would you take off that stupid mask if it's hard to breathe? Who's under there anyway? Está ahí también él. Oh no. Está ahí. Está asesino. Everyone, run. Sí que estaba en medio. You buy time, but not much. Forrest, we have to. Heather, I already called the cops. Forrest picked up. He's the best. No, I believe you. Who is with you, Carrie? My friend. We drove out to the old murder house, and of course, the van. Who's got the keys? Jimmy had them. Why Jimmy a morto? Dios, muchas cosas para procesar. Todo saldrá bien, Carrie. Okay, okay, it's gonna be okay, Carrie. Right, right. We'll figure something out. Between all of you, there's got to be a way to beat this. Just sit tight, okay? Heather, shut up. If we do that, we're gonna get killed. Funny Jeannie were here. Jeannie? Jeannie McPherson? Our intern, Jeannie? She's my best friend and the smartest one out of all of us. She stayed in tonight. Forrest, listen. We'll see what we can come up with and, uh... What? Scott, you're not any good at... And... No, no, Chad. Out of all of us, you're not the one to... Oh. Everything okay? No. We... Uh... We're figuring out a plan. But everyone's volunteering to do things that are just bad at. I think we can figure out what to do, but I don't think we can agree on who should do what. I think you'll have to be the tiebreaker. Vale, a ver. ¿A cuál es la mejor idea? I. Shut up, you. Forrest, I'll call you back. But I don't know anything about your friends. Hay que jugársela. These damn kids never learn. Vamos a ver qué opciones nos dan. Tenemos que elegir la que creamos que es. 
mejor para que se salven del asesino que eh, acaba de matar a Jimmy entre otras cosas eh, os pido apellido y bien do this kind of thing every year, Forrest. People get hurt. All right, <clears throat> folks. We're gonna work out a way to save Carrie and her friends. This next one goes out to all the trapped kids out there. Enjoy this classic by Smooth. It's their hit song, The Word. Peggy, you mentioned something about their friend working here? Yeah, Jimmy. La Becaria. Seems a nice enough girl, but a bit head in the clouds, you know. Not sure why we took on an intern. Vamos a tener que buscar really sus cosas. The office space for one. Poor thing got tucked away in a dark corner somewhere downstairs. I right. I'll go see if I can find her desk. Hopefully she has something we can use. Vale, vamos al escritorio hasta la planta baja. Peggy said her desk is downstairs. En una zona oscura. Pues aquí. Zona oscura. So many locked doors, so few keys. No creo que sea por aquí. No. That's not opening. Ahí no deja ni siquiera que entremos. Pero es como si fuese aquí, ¿no? Realmente. Aquí no hay ningún escritorio. En la cafetería, seguro. ¿No? Bueno, tampoco. Es una zona de... de alimentación, no de trabajo. Quieto, quieto. Va sola. No entiendo. Ha dicho planta baja, claramente. ¿Qué es esto? Ah, servilletas. Dudo que trabaja aquí. Es una película de terror, parece. <coughs> Llamada Siete Días. Y sinceramente, esto no tiene pinta de ser ningún tipo de oficina. Es más bien una zona de descanso. Planta baja. Vale, ya me acuerdo de dónde era, chicos. O sea, cuando había un sitio aquí un poco oscuro, pues aquí es donde Jeez, trabaja Jane. Really took Jane away. Sí, sí. Vale, ¿Cómo podemos ayudar? Está esto. ¿Qué es la amistad? Uy. Ha sonado algo, ¿eh? ¿Lo habéis escuchado? Dice, es la amistad de Jane y Mascari, que es la que está llamando. Uno más. El monte Berest, David Buenorro, Kyle y Cer. Más probabilidad de ganar el premio a la peor cara de póker. <coughs> ¿Vale? Más probabilidad de ir a la cárcel. Más probabilidad de escapar de la cárcel. Más probabilidad de ser atleta olímpico. Y con esto, dice que sí, ¿eh? Así. Ah, Más probabilidad de aprobar el examen de conducir sin errores. Probabilidad de ganar un Oscar. Más probabilidad de ganar una carrera de Cars. Probabilidad de tropezar a Luis en una película de miedo. Eso es importante, ¿eh? Más probabilidad de tener un accidente de coche. Pues con esto es con lo que tenemos que decidir quién va a hacer las. Bueno, digamos la, la estrategia a seguir. Y había como un ruido, un golpe como de maderas. Sabemos que no es el asesino porque el asesino está con ellos. Tengo esto, chicos. A ver. Hey, you find anything that'll help us out? Yeah, I found a friendship quiz with all these kids on it. If you think that'll okay. help, then good enough. Carries on line one. Whenever you're ready. Vamos a ver. Quitamos la música. This is Forrest Nash. Back again with an unlucky caller on this unlucky night. Carrie, are you there? Yes, we've got a plan, but we can't plan. agree on who should do what. You want me to be the tiebreaker? Vale, exactly. que hace cada uno. I'm ready. What's the first step? Okay, first things first. We'll need a spotter. Someone who can keep an eye on the killer. Uno que vigile. 
it's gonna be a hard climb. We're deciding between Heather, Kyle, and Hot David. ¿Quién sube al tejado? Heather, Kyle o David. David. Heather es el, el que es mejor para escalar el Monte Everest, así que Heather. Heather's got this. Yes, Heather. He picked you. Now please stop talking about all your cheerleading uh -huh. trophies. Part two. The whistling man padlocked the gate back to the road. Before we drive out of here, we need someone to pick the Alguien lock. Alguien que fuerce la cerradura. Seth, Jennifer, and Scott all want to do it. ¿Quién fuerza la cerradura? A ver, aquí tenemos Probabilidad de escapar de la cárcel Podría ser Jennifer Si le damos la vuelta a esto Ah, es Jennifer, sí o sí Jennifer Jesus, Jennifer, you carry a bump key? Why didn't you say so earlier? Anyway That brings us to part three. Getting the van keys. Yeah. Conseguir la llave de la furgo. Me ofrezco. No conozco a Jimmy tan bien como vosotros. Vale. Carly va a hacer la tercera parte. La cuarta sería... El plan es increíble. Sí, es muy detallado el plan. Estoy impresionado. Sí, es muy fácil pensar cuando estás a morir. Estás haciendo bien. ¿Cuál es la siguiente parte? La siguiente parte. Alejar al hombre del silbido. Alguien veloz. ¿Quién corre para alejar al asesino? Tenemos más probabilidad de ser atleta olímpico. David y Heather. Heather ya la hemos elegido para otra cosa, así que va a ser David. Vale. Sí. Va a ser David. Chicos. Es el más indicado teniendo en cuenta que Heather ya está elegida. Hot David. Okay. Now the tricky part. I can wait. Oh, what's the plan there? Well, we can't all outrun the whistling man, but he thinks we're just a bunch of stupid teens. So let's use that against him. Part five. We trick the killer into. Guiamos al asesino hacia una trampa. Alguien puede fingir estar herido. ¿Quién puede ser el zombi más creíble? La del Oscar. ¿Quién podría ganar un Oscar? Lisa. Pero luego también a lo mejor tiene que hacer otra cosa. O Lisa podría hacer otra cosa luego. Lisa tiene un 2 y también un 2. Déjame que mire un momento, a ver si me estoy dejando algo importante. Lisa no es buena en nada más. Es que también tampoco se le da bien nada, ¿no? A ver, Lisa, un punto en escapar de la cárcel, también un punto en cara de póker. Luego le das la vuelta a esto. Lisa, Camilo, Cintia, claro, luego está Cintia. Lisa y Tami, un 2. Yo no pondría Cintia. Ostras. Voy a decir... Lisa. Lisa. Wow, you're right, Lisa. Having to smile at rude customers is perfect practice. That should take care of the killer. And then it's time to get out of here. Finally, part six. Sexta parte. We need someone who can drive us through the woods and back to Gallows Creek alone. Jimmy, el que muy bueno conduciendo. Should it be who we got? Chad, 
Scott? Is he me? Cynthia. Oh, whatever. Forrest, you know what to do. Ana, pero no puede, Jimmy. ¿Quién conduce? Scott, Cynthia o Chad. ¿Qué dices? Más probabilidad de probar el examen de conducir sin error es Jimmy, pero Jimmy no está aquí. A Jimmy ya lo elegí para otra cosa. Uh. Carrera de Cards. Scott. Sería Scott que tiene dos puntos. Pero también tiene, tiene probabilidad de accidente de coche, eh, Scott. Tiene dos. Maldita sea. Le doy la vuelta a esto. Oh, madre mía, tío. Yo elegí a Jimmy en algún momento. Ah, que Jimmy murió. Claro, Jimmy está muerto. Jimmy está muerto, tío. Pues, ¿cómo puedo saber yo del coche? Es muy difícil, ¿eh? Porque, ¿sabéis qué pasa? A ver, voy a dar la vuelta a esto. El mejor para conducir era Jimmy, está muerto. Luego está, probabilidad de ganar una carrera de cards. Chad 1, Tammy 1. Chad, Tammy. Sería Chad, porque el fin ya no sale. O sea, puede ganar una carrera, pero Scott. Es mejor que Chad, aunque es más peligroso en tema accidentes, con lo cual es Chad. Chad no, puede, no pone que tenga accidentes, Scott sí. Así que Chad, Chad. tú conduces. Oh, es peor en los cars, pero menos temerario que el otro. Espero haberlo hecho bien. Y Jimmy era el conductor Pero en realidad me sonó como un buen plan Eso espero Espero que estés bien Sí, vamos a esperar Dios Vamos a esperar a que nos llamen de nuevo, supongo Bueno, de música de fondo nunca viene mal En este aquí, en frecuencia Oh, el centro de vuelta Line 1 de nuevo Me está encantando Si estás solo entrando We're coming to you live with a bunch of teens. Vamos a ver si hemos elegido bien. Yo creo que sí, eh. Pero vamos a ver. Discretion is advised. Are you ready, Carrie? We're good to go, Forrest. Bueno, pues muy bien adelante. Alrighty then. Hit it. You got this. Here we go, everyone. Slaughter to the roof. Go, Heather. She's off and away. All right, Renner. Get ready. Wait for the spotter's signal. Spotter says go. Ok, salió corriendo. Hay que abrir el candado. Pobre Jimmy. Venga, venga, tú puedes, tú puedes, tú puedes. Madre mía. Eh, concentra, eh, no pasa nada. Okay, it's his face, not yours. You got this. No sé si es la mejor frase para animarla, pero. Bien. Focus. You got this. We got this. Next step, trap the killer. All right. Wait. Get it. Monta todo bien, bien elegido. Hide. Okay, performer. Now, act like your life depends. Nos estuviese herida. Se lo creo. Vamos. Toma. ¿Le dieron? Ahí va, ha atravesado el suelo. O sea que se ha ido hacia abajo. Heather, 
a la furgoneta. Vamos, Char. No te estrelles. ¿Qué? No. ¿Qué hicimos mal? Ay, Dios. Claro que hay que sujetar la. la. la verja. ¡Atropellalo! ¿Se han ido todos? ¿O falta Carly? ¡Wow! Carly se sacrificó por el equipo. Oh my god. Adiós, Carly. Mató a Carly. Y se salvó el resto. Bueno, Carly es, ha elegido ya lo que iba a hacer, así que no es culpa nuestra. Sí o sí iba a pasar así. Está viva. Ostras, pensé que iba a matarla. Le ha perdonado la vida, Carrie. Thank God you're okay. Can you get somewhere safe? I can make it home. Thank you both for helping. If you hadn't, I. It was your plan, Carrie, and it was a great plan. Sí, salió todo bien, demasiado bien. It was really all you, Carrie. Still, I need to get home. Breathe, Carrie. You're okay now. I'll call you when I'm somewhere safe. Talk to you then. Uff, madre mía, lo de Carrie ha sido espectacular. No sé por qué no la ha matado. La verdad, eh. Jimmy sí que ha muerto. For any kids listening in, please stay inside and stay safe. And parents, hug your kids extra tight tonight. Here's a song. For the girl walking home in the dark. Madre mía, qué tensión. Los adolescentes. Hey, we had a call come in. Forrest Nash here. Listen, <coughs> we've got another caller live on 189.16, The Scream. What's on your mind, caller? Hey, Forrest. I just wanted to phone in and say that I think I speak for everyone when I say that you're providing a real service for Gallus mm. Creek tonight. It's cool what you're doing, man. Well, I'm just doing my job, friend. Anyway, tell me about yourself. What's your name? Are you keeping safe tonight? Yeah, man, I'm good, thanks. I'm at my roller rink, trying to get everything ready for the Harvest Festival tomorrow. I had a guy from Starling Security here earlier installing the Starling 4000 system, so I'm a little behind. As for my name, my friends call me Roller Ricky, and I have to sit with you, my man. We're friends now, huh? Well, that's kind of you to say. Thanks. Hmm. Yeah, man. Sounds like roller skating is more than just a job to you. So, is this vocational? I wasn't always Roller Ricky. Once upon a time, believe it or not, I used to go by just Ricky. Hmm. Yeah. Back then, <laughs> things were pretty rough. I used to roll with a bad crowd. Not all bad, but there was one guy. Anyway, uh, some bad stuff went down. I harbored a lot of guilt for a long time and turned to the bottle. I didn't really talk about it or, or even know how to talk. It's just how it was. That bottle took the best years of my life. So I thought. It's never too late, Roller Ricky. How did you turn things around? I joined a support group. I opened up about my problems. And Sharing that burden just took so much weight off. It's a long story from there, but I found roller disco. I learned how to have fun again, cutting loose and making shapes. Now, whenever I get down, I get down. <laughs> I'm finally free from it all, man. It's important just to talk to somebody. That's the first step. Ain't that right, Max? Ah, un parillo también. Ricky el patinado. Well, he certainly sounds like a good boy. 
Max mm. is my emotional support dog. He's a rescue dog, but I always say he's the one that rescued me. He's the best dog a guy could ask for. Of course, the first thing I did was teach him how to skate. He's better mm. than me now, a real pro. Oh, Max can skate. Yeah, man. At first they said it couldn't be done, and then they said it shouldn't be done. But Maxie loves the rink, man. <laughs> Is that another train, Maxie? Maxie loves trains, man. He's even got that special how to greet them. Maxie sounds like a really special boy. Uh, Maxie appreciates all the positivity you're throwing out, my man. You know, I'm actually hosting free skating lessons tomorrow at the festival. I think it's a great opportunity to give back to the community. Man, all this talk of skating has got me itching for a boogie. Sí, música. Before I switch my radio off for the night, could I request a song for us? Mira, Ricky, something I can groove to, you know, something funky. I love funky. Maxi's final boogie breakdown tonight. Then I think we'll take it down a level. Como se lo que es funky aquí. Thanks again for calling. You and Max, be safe now, okay? Bye, Maxi. You got it, man. Peace. Well, folks, this next one goes out to Roller Ricky and Max. Enjoy. Hope you enjoy this one my... as much as I do. I really needed that call, you know, after everything. Una llamada yeah, tranquila. He talked a bit much for my taste, but it is inspiring to hear somebody come back from the brink like that. Yeah, that, that's what I meant. <sighs> You were thinking about Max on skates, weren't you? Well, uh, <laughs> would you look at that? Another caller on the line. What are the odds? Better take it. Hmm. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. The this Scream. Is Boris Nash. How are you tonight, caller? I'm doing okay. Come I made it home safe. Gary! Hey, I I just hmm. wanted to thank you for... What's about it? Yeah. Okay. Though, we lost Jimmy, and I don't know. Hey, it's okay. You were so brave earlier. You're safe now. I wanted to ask you why. Why he didn't. Why am I? Why what, Carrie? Why did he spare me? After what he did, why let me go? It's raro, eh? Uh, Maybe he didn't kill you because he saw you as a victim. Maybe. But why would that stop him from killing me too? After everything he did to... These stupid hazing nights have to stop. Carrie, you did so well tonight. Stay safe and rest. Help is coming to Gallows Creek. We just need to hold on. Thanks, Peggy. Hey, Forrest? Venga. Could I request a song? Of course, Carrie. What song? Any song by Blast Processor. Blast Processor. Thank you. This next one goes out to Carrie. Come on. <laughs> you know what Carrie just said has really got me thinking. About what? The whistling man left her alone. Why? She there is must be a reason. Eh? When it comes to masked whistling killers, I don't think a reason is a key part of their process. Well, it's something to consider. If you want to stretch your legs, now's the time. Just hit the Peggy button when you want to get back on air. Vale. Demos un paseo. Ha dicho que estiremos las patas. Y eso es lo que voy a hacer. ¿Esto qué es? Una corbata o qué? A ver si todo está correcto. No es como que se puedan hacer muchas cosas. Pero tengo miedo del asesino yo también. Imaginaos que por lo que sea... También... Entra aquí. Vale, eso es el equipo de fútbol americano. Que ve como una cinta, que aún no la he podido llevar, ¿no? Esta. La voy a poner, ahora que ya parece que me deja agarrarla, al principio no me dejaba. Abajo no hay nada, ¿no? 
A ver, escuché antes que era la puerta cerrándose. Vale. Bueno, hay una cinta. No está de más escuchar a ver qué, qué es lo que tiene. Y por aquí yo no veo nada más. Ok. Vamos a subir y a poner esta cinta porque tengo curiosidad. Dice... A ver. Anuncio del asador asesino. Ah, bueno. Es un anuncio. Pero la teníamos como... Muy lejos, ¿no? A ver. Ahí está. Ok, bajamos la música. Oh no. We're out of beer. Let's get going, Peggy. Alrighty, we could run another segment or scratch that for us. We have a caller. Llamada. Poco rara, he perturbado la cinta esa. The scream. What's your emergency? Hello again, Forrest. Oh, that call with the teens was awful. Those poor kids. Still, I'm I'm glad the girl didn't get hurt. Thanks for your concern. Are you in trouble? What's on your mind? I wanted to ask you again to play my song. What the hell is that? Said you were gonna play it, but you didn't. Ostras. Your name was Dawn, right? What Peggy? Oh, well remembered. My name is Dawn, and I wanted to ask you again to play my tune, Forrest. Long ride home. Es que está you know, en la calle. The one that Peggy said she threw outside the window. <sighs> eh. You must really love that song. Sí, te debe gustar calling mucho. Calling to ask for it when you know we don't have it. Well, I, I do love it. And I don't want to argue, but you do have it. It's just outside the claro, window. Claro, hay que ir a por ella. a serial killer on the loose. I can't just go outside hunting for a record. Hmm. I'm really sorry, Don. But we just can't get it right now. Oy, oy, oy. But wasn't the whistling man just at the old murder house? Sí, pero... <laughs> Igual está viniendo, ¿eh? Don, I'm not sure if you've heard, but there's something unnatural about this freak. He's La casa he's de los fast. asesinatos, ¿dónde está? I'm not risking it. Oh, but I think you will. Forrest, Peggy, I'm, I'm calling with more than... Sea algo, dice. I know something. Uy. I think I know who's going to be next. ¿Qué? What? ¿Sabes quién va a ser el siguiente? ¿Por qué? Play my song, Forrest. No, tío, chantaje. A por, la, a por el disco. It's funky, it's groovy, it's stab in the twilight by knife and easy. Is she serious, Peggy? She's serious about hearing that song, that's for sure. Uh, Peggy, I mean, is she serious about... I don't know, Forrest, but we don't really have a choice, do we? I'm she's I'm telling the down. truth. I'll do it. You're a good man, Forrest. I'll slide you the key to the fire door. Wait, wait. Our fire door has to be unlocked? Yeah, it... Uh... No, I never thought about it. Ya yeah. We should talk to Reggie about that later. Anyway, I'll hold the board down while you're out. Maybe I'll even get a caller. That could be exciting. 189.16. The screw. With me, Peggy. Hmm. Dame la llave, Peggy. Venga. Bueno, es para aquí, ¿no? Locked tight. No. ¿Para dónde el es la llave esta? La escalera de incendios. Espera, esto era... Aquí arriba. No. Pues no tengo ni idea de dónde es. Cortafuegos, decía. Me pongo nervioso, no puedo ni abrir la puerta. Aquí. Sí, es aquí. 
I hope she'll be happy when I'm brutally murdered by the whistling man out here. I just the open. Hello. Un fusible. Uy, un fusible parece importante para algo, ¿no? Pero estamos buscando un disco. Se lanzó por la ventana. ¿Qué ventana? Otro fusible. ¿Por qué hay fusibles aquí? ¡Ay! Eso no. Hay muchos, ¿eh? Los voy a guardar, creo yo. Tengo miedo, ¿eh? Como me salga por aquí el asesino. Esto hay que ponerlo en algún lado. Ostras, es la zona donde atacó al principio, ¿eh? ¡Ah! Está allí, lo he visto. ¿Por qué dónde lo habrá tirado? ¿Es este, no? Sí, sí que es. Y esto no se puede utilizar. Vale, esto es para después. 70, tal, tal, tal. ¿Puedo dejarlo aquí y se quedará guardado? Los fusibles, que hay un montón. ¿Eh? Un montón de fusibles. Este es el disco. Lo tengo. He visto al asesino, ¿eh? estaba ahí al fondo. O sea, estaba allí. Estoy casi seguro de que le ha dado tiempo a llegar. Eso está fusible, no sé si se guardarán, pero yo voy a guardar la partida por si acaso. Y ahora los tenemos ahí ubicados. Si es que el juego quiere dejarlos en ese sitio. Pero chicos, el asesino. Se están cayendo cosas, me está dando mal rollo. El asesino no está muy lejos. Hay más fusibles. Yo por ahí no puedo pasar. Esto de los fusiles parece un puzzle para otro momento. Eso no quita que sí que está ahí, ¿eh? Está por ahí. Y he visto otro fusible. Mira. Otro verde. Yo lo voy a colocar ya. Quizás esté perdiendo el tiempo, ¿eh? Y luego se resetee todo. Vamos a ver. Pero chicos... Ya tenemos al menos... ¿Esto funciona? No. El disco. Vamos a entrar a ponerlo. Nada más. Se ve el asesino por algún lado. Es que es rarísimo que estuviese ahí fuera. ¿eh? Y un fusible azul. ¿eh? Vale, me llevo este fusible azul. Y queda otro verde aquí. No sé si sirven de diferentes colores. Otro rojo aquí, hay un montón. Otro azul ahí. Está lleno. Es que dependerá de los colores que te pidan, a lo mejor. Pero bueno, eso de momento no nos lo están pidiendo, chicos. Yo, esto me recuerda a Hell Wanted. Cuando arreglábamos a los animatrónicos. Bueno, venga, vamos a ver cómo suena esa canción. Ya tengo curiosidad. Of course, it locks behind me. And of course the key doesn't work no. on this side. Fantastic. Maybe there's another way oh, back to the ah, base. Así que hay que utilizar eso. Elevator or something. Ascensor o algo, dice. Claro, pues ahora sí. Así estamos fastidiados. Vale, llevo un montón de fusibles, ¿eh? Sí que era para ahora lo de los fusibles. A ver. Vale, ya los puedo quitar. No entiendo muy bien la pista. Si es que hay una pista aquí. 70, dice. Vale. Fusiles nuevos. Ah, ahí conseguí 70 en total. Pues 30, por ejemplo. 35. 
Este no sé si me hará falta o no, ahora lo veremos Esto está quemado, fuera Quemado, fuera Azul, 45, 50 ¿Tengo uno de 20? Sí, tengo uno de 20 Yo diría que tengo 70 Bingo. Ahí estamos Algo se abrió ¿El qué? Ni idea Espero que sea la puerta Cuatro. Bingo, ¿qué? ¿Qué se ha abierto, Dios mío? Esto sigue en rojo Ah, se abrió esto Sí, no es una caída muy alta Parece el armario del conserje ¿Cómo ha dicho Pedro? Ah, este es lo de Clive Uy, ¿podría ser Clive? ¿El asesino? What? ¿Qué es este lugar? ¿Qué? ¿Es el cuarto del asesino? What the hell? Peggy is not gonna believe this. No se lo va a creer, no. There's a key. Tengo una llave. Escaleras al sótano. Ok. ¿Algo más interesante por aquí? Aparte de la key. No hay información. Tengo un destornillador. ¿Quién sabe? Hay unos maniquíes marcando cosas. Espera, hay cosas, ¿eh? Solicitud de donación para ayudar a Cruz eh, Chuck Brody. A finales del año pasado, Chuck Brody, el antiguo capitán del equipo de fútbol del instituto, fue víctima del desastre del Festival de la Cosecha y sufrió una herida que acabó con su carrera. Para ayudarle durante su recuperación, le estamos comprando numerosas, números de lotería. Esperamos que gane algo y deje de tener tanta mala pata. La broma ha sido sin querer. Deja los números de, en el cubo, gracias. Muchas cosas. ¡Ostras! Chuck Brody, aquí tengo que averiguar quién es quién. Puedo colocarlo todo. <coughs> ¿What? Aquí hay muchas cosas, tío. Pero esto no será para ahora, ¿no? Chuck Brody. Es este. ¿Qué pasa con Chuck Brody? O sea, ¿para qué quiero esto? ¿Vas a ver quién es el asesino? A ver. Está redondeado. También And Williams. Y los clubs. Pero esto no tengo que hacer nada todavía, creo yo. Parece que es para después o algo así. ¿eh? ¿Qué es esto? 1972, The Gallus Reporter Lunes 18 de septiembre del 72 Festival del desastre Una noria se suelta y deja 15 heridos ¿Quién es el culpable? El festival de la cosecha de Gallus Creek Se ha clausurado este año Antes de tiempo tras la tragedia sufrida en las, A las pocas horas de su inauguración La gran noria Se soltó de los soportes Y echó a rodar por la ciudad Se está llevando a cabo una investigación Sigue la página 12, dice esto está inconcluso. King Walker, Rebeca. Me importa... Ah, sí que juntarlo. Esto parece un periódico inconcluso. Estoy de aquí la primera. La última. Galo Reporter. Eh, wow. Justicia para las víctimas del festival. ¿Puede ser lo mismo? A ver. Cuidado con la gripe. Cada Walker, internista local, recomienda que todos los lugareños nos vacunemos contra la gripe lo antes posible. Ha llegado la temporada de la gripe. En 1984 no es distinto el de más años. Así que... Vale. Algo de la gripe por aquí. Tampoco parece que esto se junte con lo otro. Esto es justicia para las víctimas del festival. 
Y es como más antiguo, quizá, ¿no? Eso del festival parece importante. Día de partido, Instituto de Galuski contra Instituto de Quiet Rides. Anuncio de matrimonio. Queremos celebrar el matrimonio de Kim Walker y Peter Stein. 30 de mayo de los 70. Enhorabuena. Sindicato del crimen desarticulado. Sigue la página 13. Esta es la 12. Pero esta no tiene que ver con la otra. Fijaos, son dos portadas. Sí. Vale. ¿Y qué más es interesante? Uh -huh. Comenzar anual. Invitado de sorpresa. Es que todo esto es importante. Pues no lo sé. Parece que tenemos que poner los nombres y las zonas. En algún momento. Pero no sé cuáles. Voy a probar. Voy a probar la llave. Me he llevado estornillador, pero no sé yo si me sirve de algo. Toma ruido. Estos son moscas. Y aquí como carne. ¿Qué cómo irá el programa? Pues ni idea. Estamos un poco lejos ahora mismo. Voy con mi estornillador para defenderme de cualquier mal. Y esta era, la, esta era la llave para las escaleras. Precisamente. Pues ahí abajo tenemos que ir a algún punto, ¿eh? Podemos salir cuando queramos. Y vamos a volver, chicos. Y en este punto... Vamos a subir a ver si ha pasado algo raro. Si no ha pasado nada raro, dejamos el capítulo 2. De... Killer Frequency. Cada vez más y más emocionante... Hemos llegado a ver al asesino en el exterior. Isn't that such a good song, folks? And now for Jesus Christ, you've been gone for ages. I thought something had happened. Estamos bien, estamos bien. Something did happen. Clive, the janitor, might be. Podría ser el asesino. También puede ser un investigador, eh. El está muy investigando. Ah, vale, está contando todo lo que ha pasado. Chicos, aquí lo dejamos. ¿Os ha gustado? Tocad el like, comentad lo que os ha parecido y suscribiros para más terror y más diversión. Mañana, ¿qué te ha ido? Uh, ¿Qué hemos like ido? Fair. All right, let's run through this again. We have a creepy board you found in a basement made by our creepy janitor who you think is the creepy whistling man. Yep. Creemos que es el, el hombre del silbido. Kim Walker, Rebecca Allen and Aunt Williams. Así es. And you think one Sale of these people will be the whistling man's Clive's next target. That's right. And we've got to find them. You said there are four locations listed there too. The hospital, ¿Sí? the power station, Uy, no lo hemos the subido. station and the trailer park. Clive must think the target is at one of those locations. Forest, you're going to have to figure out if any of the potential targets are at one of these locations tonight. Hit the button if you need any help. Madre mía, pero esto esto es complicadísimo. Tenemos a Kim, a Rebecca, Chuck y Ann William, ¿vale? Son los que creemos que pueden ser la próxima víctima del asesino del silbido. Y luego hay un montón de de recortes. Uf. Que deberían darnos pistas. Chuck Brody, King Walker, Rebecca, <coughs> Allen and Williams. Tenemos aquí los cuatro. Lo hay que poner dónde. ¿Dónde iría Chuck? Esto lo descubrí muy tarde. Ya no, no me sirve de mucho. Eh, vale, los papeles. <coughs> Auténticos detectives ahora mismo, chicos. Vamos a ver. Habrá que juntar cosas. Bueno, paso a paso. Primer papel. No, primero, ¿Cómo sé yo si uno de estos? Club de coches. Ann Williams, Club de coches. Vale, eh, Festival del Desastre. 
Una novia se suelta y deja 15 heridos. ¿Quién es el culpable? El Festival de la Cosecha de Galowski se ha clausurado este año antes de tiempo tras la tragedia sufrida a las pocas horas de su inauguración. La gran novia se soltó de los soportes y echó a rodar por la ciudad. Se está llevando a cabo una investigación. ¿Qué tiene que ver esto con ellos? Yo que sé. Un accidente. A ver este. Sindicato del Crimen Desarticulado. Lo hemos leído ya, pero bueno, lo recordamos para ver si así aprendemos algo. Se ha desmantelado una operación criminal que ha acabado con 24 arrestos. El informante de la organización ha quedado en libertad. Hoy la policía por fin ha logrado desarticular el sindicato del crimen que durante tanto tiempo ha estado robando coches en nuestra comunidad. Los arrestos se han efectuado después de que alguien de dentro de la organización haya ofrecido a los investigadores información sobre sus cómplices. Esta persona, que prefiere permanecer en el anonimato, ya a la que nos referiremos a partir de ahora con las siglas R.A., ha quedado en libertad sin cargos. R.A. Rebeca Allen, Club de Coches. Esto es de ella. ¿Vale? De Rebeca Allen. Vamos a poner su nombre aquí. ¿eh? Y vamos a poner que esto tiene que ver con ella, ¿ok? Ella fue la que habló dentro de la organización. Voy a quitar la música, me estoy volviendo un poco loco. Eh, ella fue la que habló desde dentro y, e hizo que arrestasen a mucha gente, con lo cual podía ser que alguien la, la odiase. En cambio... A ver, Falta todo por aquí. Este es este, Chuck Brody. Vale, Chuck Brody. Esto lo he movido sin querer. A ver, Rebecca Allen. Esto va aquí, que es tuyo, ¿vale? Chuck Brody. Entre otras cosas, seguro, seguro, seguro. Que tiene que ver con él esto. Porque es él. Dice. Día de partido, el Instituto de Gallows Creek contra el Instituto de Quiet Rights. Segunda división, sábado 8 de marzo, revista oficial de partidos. Claro, tenemos que saber a quién va a atacar primero, o sea, pero ¿qué pistas tenemos aquí para saber a quién va a atacar primero? Es como que los odia a estos, a cada uno por algo diferente, supongo. Luego, ¿dónde están? <risa> ok, eh, Ann Williams la vamos a poner aquí, Voy a apartar todo. Y aquí en Walker lo voy a poner aquí. ¿Vale? ¿Esto qué pone? Queremos celebrar el matrimonio de King Walker y Peter Stein. King Walker es esta de aquí, ¿vale? Del club de improv, improvisación. Ella se iba a casar o se casó en el año 70. Sí, se casó hace 17 años ya montón de tiempo ¿Esto de quién es? Chuck Brody Para ayudar a Chuck Brody, a finales del año pasado Chuck Brody, el antiguo capitán del equipo de fútbol del instituto, fue víctima del desastre del festival de la cosecha Vale, el festival de la cosecha fue el accidente de aquí Sí Esto le pasó a este Brody, chicos Le dio la rueda esa, la novia Y lo dejó bastante mal Entonces hicieron esto Acabó con su carrera O sea que hizo una lesión grave, grave <coughs> Para ayudarle durante su recuperación Le estamos comprando números de lotería Esperemos que gane algo Y deje de tener tanta mala pata La broma ha sido sin querer Dejar los números en el cubo Entonces eh, se hablaba de darle a Chuck Brody es que todo esto quiero apartarlo para que nos dé un poco más de espacio hacia arriba Se hablaba de comprarle lotería a Chuck Brody para ayudarle económicamente, ¿ok? Entonces, Rebecca Allen, ahí Chuck Brody, aquí Ann Williams, aquí King Walker, aquí Esto es de King Walker Esto es de Chuck Brody lo tapo sin querer, ahí, un poquito más abajo, ahí Esto de Chuck Brody, esto es de Chuck Brody Vamos a organizar cada persona, bueno, si no Esto es de Rebeca 
Y esto lo pondría de momento incluso aquí al lado, puedo ponerlo, no, no me deja. Bueno, ahora lo movemos un poco. <coughs> Justicia para la víctima del festival. Tras dos años de escrutinio, la investigación del accidente del festival llega a su fin. Los investigadores culpan a dos ingenieros de la central eléctrica local que fueron contratados para el evento. El ingeniero jefe Ann Williams y Sean Everett. Justamente Ann Williams era ingeniero de la Noria que se cargó la carrera de Chuck Brody. Espectacular. Sean Everett estaban distraídos hablando de películas de miedo mientras montaban la Noria, lo que dio lugar a varios errores de construcción. Han sido condenados a prestar servicios a la comunidad durante, y ahí no dice nada más. Esto es Ann Williams, chicos. Vamos a mover a King Walker hasta aquí. Vale. Ann Williams un poco más para acá. Tenemos esto. Como que fueron eh, culpados. ¿vale? No condenados, sino culpados. Vale. Más cositas. Aquí pone, me importa. 1969, está siendo un gran año. Aumento de personal de la central eléctrica. La central eléctrica de Gallows Creek ha contratado a 20 nuevos empleados batiendo 12 de los cuales serán estudiantes del Instituto de Gallows Creek. Y hemos dicho que este es ingeniero de la central eléctrica, ¿no? Sí. Así que esto es de... Esto es de Ann Williams, chicos. Casi seguro. De este de aquí. Ok. Más cositas. 1977, The Gallows Reporter. Pipi, cuidado, tragedia. Un fallo con los frenos de un autobús deja 5 muertos y 16 heridos. O sea, este tío está matando a gente que, que ha matado anteriormente a otras personas. Que, sin querer, en accidentes, no sé. Gallows Kick sufrió ayer por la tarde una tragedia cuando un autobús no pudo frenar a tiempo. Se estrelló contra un camión cisterna. Los fallecidos se han identificado como vecinos de Gallows Kick. Ruth. Houghton, Stein, Otto Stein y Mildred. La policía ha pedido que se respete la privacidad de las familias de las víctimas. No se ha abierto ninguna investigación sobre el accidente. Stein, Stein, Mildred y Houghton. Podría ser el apellido del, del que trabaja aquí. O sea, podría ser perfectamente el... El conserje, ¿no? A lo mejor uno de, de, de los familiares que perdió... Vale, entonces, si fuese él... Bueno, en fin, más cosas. Que Walker, internista local, recomienda que todos los lugareños nos vacunemos contra la gripe de antes posible. Walker. Kim Walker. Kim Walker. Vamos, Walker también tenemos. Que se casaba y que nos recomendó... Eh, que nos vacunásemos contra la gripe No lo veo a querer matarla, ¿no? La verdad, no, no ha hecho nada extraño por, por decir eso Y este, los apellidos Ruth, Hutton, Stein, Stein y Mildred Ahí no hay nada, ninguna pista Realmente Vale, más cositas Inmuebles de Galus Kick. Caravana en oferta, de 86, hace un año. Puede que viva ahí. Para hacer a 101, McGrady Street y tal. Póngase en contacto con el agente inmobiliario Tyler, Tyler Wallace para obtener más información. Estoy hasta las narices de ser una estrella local. La gente me trata fatal. Solo robé un par de coches. ¿Qué más dará? Comprad coches nuevos. Quiero vender mi caravana y largarme de la ciudad cuanto antes. Estoy deseando irme de aquí, cómprala por favor. Este ya local, pues será él, ¿no? Digo, esto es de él. De Chuck Brody. Él era la única que, el único que era una estrella, ¿no? En principio. Bueno, no sé si era una estrella, a ver. Mm. A ver. Es este, ¿no? Antiguo capitán de... Vale, ¿no? Bueno, no sé si era una estrella, pero al menos sí que era conocido. 
1987, Convención de Seguridad y Salud de Quiet Rights, del martes 1 al domingo 6 de septiembre. ¿Qué? Vale, esto es ahora. Del martes 1 al domingo 6 de septiembre, estamos en el 3. Uy, 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 esto es importante, chicos. ¿Te importa la seguridad y la salud? Genial. Ven a la convención anual. Con la intervención especial de un invitado sorpresa. El ingeniero jefe responsable del desastre del festival de la cosecha de Galus Kick. Se suele decir que uno aprende de sus errores, pues yo convertí los míos en mi profesión. Es ni más ni menos que Ann Williams. Sí. Va a ir a por Ann Williams, chicos. Justamente hoy, podría ser, porque es del 1 al 6. Yo diría que Ann Williams, ¿eh? ¿Y dónde va a ser esto? A ver. ¿Pero dónde? Convención de Seguridad y Salud de Quiet, Quiet Rights. Yo qué sé. ¿Dónde está Quiet Rights? Quiet Rights. Aquí lo dice. No estoy segura, ¿eh? Uy, no entiendo, no entiendo el sitio. Lo de la zona no sabía decir, ¿eh? Festival de la cosecha, eso sí, ¿vale? Convención de seguridad y salud. No sé dónde es. Vale. ¿Está tu coche a salvo? Tras producirse una serie de robos en automóviles de la ciudad, el sheriff Matthews ha aconsejado a los ciudadanos que presten atención a cualquier comportamiento sospechoso. La ola de crímenes del 1970 llegará a su fin, os lo aseguro. Debemos colaborar para atrapar a los ladrones. Eh, Sheriff Matthews. No tenemos ningún Matthews, ¿no? ¿Quién puede ser un ladrón de coches? Tiene que ver con Rebecca Allen, ¿no? Claro. Sí, el de robar coches. Esto es de Rebecca Allen. Tiene que ver con Rebecca. Una, vale 3 de noviembre del 86 Un antiguo ganador de la lotería compra una gasolinera ¡Oh! Un antiguo ganador de la lotería compra una gasolinera ¿Qué dices? Gasolina y reparaciones Cristín Se ha vendido a un hombre que ganó la lotería hace 14 años En el 72 el nuevo propietario, que afirma que así tendrá algo que hacer por las noches, ha pedido que no se revele su identidad. <coughs> y luego abajo pone, mi vida robando coches secretos de informante de la policía ya a la venta. Dos dólares de descuento con este cupón. ¿Le tocó la lotería a... a él? Creo que le tocó la lotería y se compró la gasolinera. No estoy seguro de si este está bien. Voy a poner gasolinera a Chuck. Diría que Chuck está en la gasolinera. La leyenda local se muda a Manhattan. Ay, no, pues el que robó. No entiendo lo de robar coches. ¿Es el mismo que le tocó la lotería? La leyenda local se muda a Manhattan. La tristemente célebre autora del libro. Mi vida robando coches... Sí, sí, es ella. Esto es de esta. Abandona Gallows Creek para empezar de nuevo en la gran ciudad. Jim Randy escribió la siguiente reseña de su libro del año pasado. Primero nos robó coches y después nos robó tiempo y dinero. Rebecca Allen era la que robaba coches. Leyenda local. Pues leyenda local habíamos puesto esto. Estrella local. Podría ser de ella, ¿no? Esto. Sí, sí. Eso robé un par de coches. Fijaos que además que coincide la foto. De estaba a la venta y aquí está vendido. La misma foto de la caravana. Esto era de ella. 
Entonces, sí que puede ser que este sea el que le tocó la lotería. A ver de cerca. Mira, ese es el libro de ella. Pero eso va aparte, ¿eh? Vendiendo, vendiendo un libro de cómo robó coches. Joder. A ver. Creo que va aparte, no tiene nada que ver, creo. Vale, él ganó la lotería y el único que le compraron el billete de lotería fue a este. Para que pudiese... Pues vivir, ¿no? Después de, de la gran desgracia. Vale, entonces Rebeca Allen se fue. Yo diría que... No tengo ni idea de esto, ¿eh? ¿Y esta qué? Vale, aquí falta algo. Frenos con un autobús deja cinco muertos. No tengo ni idea de quién puede ser esta noticia. Para quién puede ser. Voy a hablar con... Con Peggy, a ver qué dice. ¿Cómo va? Miriam, te ayuda. Uh. Not going well. I could use some help. Por favor. Okay, let's review the basics. We need to work out who the next target is. Creo que sé es. quién es, ¿eh? There's four <coughs> locations, right? And four people. Sí. We need to figure out if anyone is at any of the four locations tonight. And vale, if they are, we can call them and warn them. There must be some connections between the notes. Vale, está claro. Great. Need any more help? Pues lo tenemos claro, chicos. Um, es... Chuck Brody No, eh, es Ann Williams Que va a estar aquí Pero esto donde se celebra Es Ann Williams El que va a estar, es el ingeniero Va a estar del 1 al 6 Y estamos en día 3 Pero dónde se celebra esto ¿Cómo lo sé Me estoy perdiendo algo, ¿no? En el hospital lo dudo. ¿Sale del park? Digo yo, ¿eh? La estación de energía no creo. Power Station es aquí. Ironside, Power Station. ¿Sale del park? ¿A dónde está el Tyler Park? Aquí, ¿no? No. Aquí, en todo el medio. Yo diría que va a estar aquí. Ann Williams. Es que claro, es la central eléctrica, chicos. ¿Dónde debería estar él? En la central eléctrica, ¿no? Claro, está comenzando a seguridad y salud. Nada, nada, nada. No sé por qué he pensado el Tyler Park. Es, es Power Station seguro. Porque él trabajaba ahí. Es una convención de seguridad. O sea, Ann Williams en el Power Station. Vale. I'm good now. Lo tenemos. Thanks, Creo, ¿eh? No problem. Eh, vale, pero ya está. Estoy listo. I'm ready, Peggy. Are you sure? We've only got one Solo show una oportunidad, this. ¿eh? Ann Williams en la Power Station. Guardo, por si acaso. I'm sure. Let's do this. Okay. Name first. Who do you think the target is? Ann Williams. Me tengo que poner esto bien. Es Ann Williams. Aunt Williams. And where will I find them? En la central eléctrica. The power station. Okay, I'm dialing. One Dime moment. Sí. Dime que sí. Me cuesta un poco, eh. Yo como detective un poco lento. Forest, I'm through to the power plant, but no. they say there isn't anyone by that name. No. What? Then who? Jeez! Ah! It sounds like something blew up. He's using bombs now? Oh my god. The call board. It I one Chaliado, moment. Tío. ¿Dónde Forest, está? I'm getting so many calls. Just let me. Saliado. I'm gonna take us off air for a moment. 
Liada, liada, liada. What's happening in there? Cargo. Peggy. Está colapsada. I'm back. He blew up the gas. Estaba en la gasolinera. Que también teníamos la pista de la gasolinera. Ay, no entiendo, tío. Uh, actually, give me a bit longer. La gasolinera la compró este, ¿no? Chuck Brody. ¿Y cómo sabemos que era él? Voy a decir Chuck Brody Gas Station. Porque Aaron Williams no podía estar ahí. Claro, es la gasolinera, eso es lo que ha dicho ella. No, no entiendo por qué. No, no veo la pista de, de, de por qué está hoy ahí. I'm ready, Peggy. Are you sure? Chapel de gasolina, venga. Qué mal. I'm sure. Let's do this. Okay. Name first. Who do you think the target is? No, no lo he pillado. Chuck Brody. Chuck Brody. And where will I find them? En la gasolina que ha comprado. The gas station. Okay, I'm dialing. One moment. Ah, si no. Vamos, Chuck. Hello, Chuck Brody. Listen, I know this sounds crazy, but we have reason to believe the whistling man is coming for you. Pues no sé por qué. Get yourself and everyone else out right now. Que nos decía que iba a estar ahí ahora. Who the hell are you? Who is this? This is Forrest Nash. Listen, the whistling man's back. We found a list with your name on it, and oh God, it's today. I finally let myself forget. I. Olvidar qué? Forget. Forget what? Forget. No, no, man. I gotta get out of here. No tengo, mi amor. I. I think he ran off. Well. Sí. Fingers crossed that Chuck. Vale, ahora se ve la explosión, pero, pero Chuck se ha ido. Dime que está vivo, tío. Está vivo, está vivo. Menos mal. Oh, oh. Uy, no está bien, Chuck. Forrest, Se ve que se puede... Careful with this next track, listeners. It's dynamite. Forest. Vaya chiste, vamos a hacer después de una explosión de una gasolinera. You're gonna love this next track. Oye, se puede lanzar de aquí los papeles y no sé cómo se hace. Porque una de las cosas que tengo aquí es canastas desde el escritorio. ¿Cómo se lanza? Ahí. Es una chorrada, pero me hace ilusión. Es con la con la R. Ah, con la R. Uy. Vale. A sala de maniquís. Vámonos a la sala de maniquíes. Bueno, hemos salvado. Hemos salvado a. A Chuck Brody, pero de, de, de potra. Solo teníamos este y este. Y no sé por qué. Sentía más que era el otro. Me daba como más pista, ¿no? Por eso de las, de las fechas. Vale, se podía bajar por la escalera, ¿no? Al sitio de ese. Un paseíto, vamos a poner la radio para que tengamos música de fondo siempre. ¿Por qué no? 
Bueno. Bajamos por la escalera. ¡Bu! Que nos lleva a la habitación. Ah, no. Aquí. Tiramos algunas latas. No puedo. Aquí no me acerqué yo mucho. Pero fijaos, hay unas bolsas sospechosas. Pero para sospechoso, el armario del conserje. Esto sí que es sospechoso. Ajá. Almacén del sótano. No se ha dado cuenta de la llave. Almacén del sótano. Es decir, es una llave que es para algo de aquí. Esto se ha quedado abierto, qué miedo. Dejar esto abierto para que cualquiera pueda entrar. Y sabemos que tenemos un asesino. Escucha un ruido. ¿eh? Un asesino suelto. Zona nueva. Me llama. Seguimos, chicos. A ver qué nos encontramos aquí. <coughs> en este lugar nuevo. Ah, ¿puedo hablar por aquí? Lo tengo Vale, está el mapa Vale A ver, aquí cositas, chicos Aquí uno puedo entrar Está el mapa del pueblo <coughs> Completo un cassette. Peggy, I've found a tape and a map down here. A map of what? Looks like it might be to somewhere in this storage area. Sí, no me hacen. Well, maybe the tape will give us more information. Give it a play. Vamos a poner el cassette arriba. Aquí hay poco más, ¿eh? Ya voy a preguntar aquí, ¿me dejas? No. Pon el cassette. Pero lo pongo arriba, tengo que subir. Bueno, pues ya vendemos al almacén, supongo. ¿Qué? ¿Dónde lo pongo? Ah, ¿y dónde lo pongo? Gracias. ¿Dónde está lo de los cassettes? ¿Esto es de cassettes? Esto no es de cassettes. Eh, ¿Veis alguna radio? O sea... Ah, sí, aquí. <risa> ya se lo veía súper raro esto. Clay. <coughs> es Clive. Sí que es él. Sí que es él, tío. <coughs> sí, la mapa se encuentra en las cintas. George Barrow. Clive? Has Clive really been the whistling man for that? Oh, Clive siempre fue el servido. I guess that's what this map is about. I think we need to see what else is hidden down here. Be careful for it. Keep looking. Buzz the intercom when you found something. Hay que buscar aquí ahora. A ver. Time of autopsy is 7 a.m. Esto debe ser importante. Cinco horas llevaba muerta la víctima. Nota de entrega. <coughs> Fecha de envío: 2 de septiembre de 87, es decir, ayer. Envío de Starling Security Envío e instalación Sistema de alarma de seguridad modelo 4000 <coughs> Hospital San Gabriel <coughs> McGrady Street 87 Ay, mi garganta Dios ¿Cómo está la gargantuela? A ver, lo quiero leer, lo quiero leer Hospital San Gabriel McGrady 87 Entrega e instalación 1030 Gasolinera también Pista de patinaje de Ricky el patinador Apartamentos Woodside 
Carpenter Avenue 42, entrega de instalación. No se ha podido instalar por falta de piezas. Nueva fecha del 16 de septiembre, o sea, los apartamentos Woodside no tienen alarma. Y luego la emisora de radio que KFAM, aquí, el cliente prefirió encargarse de la instalación. Lo instaló él. ¿Qué dices? No me gusta eso. Esto es pegamento. Algo del sistema. Manual del sistema, importante. Al introducir códigos y comandos, se deben pulsar las secuencias de teclas sin pausas de más de 4 segundos. Si transcurren 4 o 5 segundos sin presionar una tecla, se abortará la introducción del código y se deberá repetir desde el principio. Asegúrese de tener esto en cuenta al realizar cualquiera de los procesos detallados en este manual. Si comete un error al introducir un código de seguridad, deténgase, pulse asterisco y comience de nuevo. Si se, si se detiene mientras se introduce un código y trata de volver a introducirlo desde el principio, el sistema podría detectarlo como un código incorrecto. Vale. Código de acceso a la fábrica. Introducción. Nuestro sistema de seguridad de último modelo utiliza un código de 6 dígitos. Introduzcalo con el teclado numérico y disfrute de la tranquilidad. El sistema Starling Security 4000 ofrece varias funciones cuyos códigos, por defecto, se indican a continuación. <coughs> Cambia estos códigos inmediatamente para evitar accesos no deseados. Vale, código de llamada de mantenimiento es 11212. Voy a apuntármelos todos. Mantenimiento. Sería 311212. Prueba de alarma. Prueba de alarma sería 19, 15, 19. Tengan en cuenta que esto activará todas las medidas de seguridad. Código de desactivación de prueba de alarma. Desactivar alarma. 811220. Y código de acceso. 715914. Apuntado. Ok. Y hay que hacerlo despacito, ¿vale? O sea, dejando un margen. He oído pasos. Os juro que he oído pasos. ¿Eran los míos? Espero que sí. ¿Qué pasa aquí? ¿Por qué hay música siniestra? Dios, es la autopsia de una mujer. Quizá la primera víctima. Porque he oído algo raro, tío. Aquí puedes ir por otro lado. Vale, ese código, ¿dónde debo ponerlo? Tengo una foto. Dice lo de los cassettes. Ahí está. Ahí abajo, la foto. Dios. Otra foto. No veo. Luz. Un ventilador. Dice que te da la cinta del ventilador. Pues si había una orden lo estoy haciendo mal. ¿Puedo cambiar esta foto y ponerla en otro sitio? Estoy por guardar las fotos. No me deja ponerlas. Solo en el... Vale, apoyadas. Dejadas ahí. Y hay más fotos. Hay un orden, chicos. Primero era... A ver. <coughs> Primero era esta.
Luego la del cajón la he hecho bien. ¿No? Luego la del cajón. Creo que la he hecho bien, que es la que está aquí, ¿no? Sí. Dice que hay un libro. Uh. Departamento de policía. Vale. A las 4 de la mañana. Vale, dice Ciudad de Gallows Creek. Caso 983 A56. 3 de septiembre del 68. Autor, Sheriff Matthews. El que salía en, la, en el periódico. A las 4 de la mañana recibimos una llamada de una corredora. La señorita Sandra Serp. Sarpe, informándonos de que había hallado un cadáver en la orilla del embalse. Fui a investigar la zona y determiné que se trataba de George Barrow, vale, el que ha dicho él en el audio. Me puse en contacto con la oficina de correo del, del forense y con los padres del muchacho, que me informaron de que no lo veían desde las 7 de la tarde del 2 de septiembre. O sea, la siguiente sería, creo que la que he activado, creo, ¿eh? A ver, creo que es el, que, el último que he activado. Que es este. Sí. Sí, tal cual. Vale. Y aquí no hay foto, ¿no? Aquí no hay foto. Sí, hay foto, la que tenemos en la mano, es esta. Y ahora dice ventilador. Que está aquí seguro. No se puede abrir. Ventilador. Mm. Y esta es la última. De momento no hemos visto más fotos. Aquí hay un hueco. Uh. Miedo, tío. Vale, aquí hay cosas. El juego se ha puesto bien siniestro, ¿eh? Esto no se puede pulsar. Tiene lucecitas, pero no se puede pulsar. <coughs> Investigando todo bien, pero no veo nada. Hasta aquí, que aquí ya se encuentran cositas. No es importante. No es importante. Un boli Tampoco The Creepy Tour The Creepy Hour la, la hora del terror, que miedo Esto sí es importante El Instituto de Galo Kids presenta Humpty Dumpty Una historia de amor, tragedia y tradición Protagonizada por Macy Cartwright como, como Down Down La que nos llamaba por teléfono Y George Barrow como Henry Con la participación de Mary Campbell como Anne Cuidado, eh Down es la que nos llamó por teléfono Y nos dijo que sabía quién iba a matar el siguiente Y a George Barrow lo mataron Mary Campbell Mary Campbell Nada más. ¿Qué? ¿Clive está muerto? Oh, oh. Igual no era él, ¿eh? Save 
something to make up for what I did back then. Ostras, él hizo algo también. Él no mató a nadie, dice. Mi jefe, ¿eh? Pues a ver un poco esto, pero el audio. What the hell? Peggy is not gonna believe this. Vamos a hablar con Peggy. ¿Y lo de los códigos qué, tío? Qué lugar más siniestro, os lo prometo, eh. Es súper siniestro. ¿Y entonces quién es el asesino? Si no es Clive. Peggy. What have you found, Forrest? It's an autopsy tape. Doesn't say for who, but I think it must be for George. Sí, es George. Oh, George. Parece. He was so young. Something's bugging me, Peggy. What do you mean? I swear I recognize the voice of the woman talking on the tape. I just can't place it. Seriously? Do you think you've met her before? Hmm, I, don't know. I mean, I just got here recently. I don't know. Found another tape. It talks more about how George died. What did it say? It sounds like he was running for his life. Sprinting through trees and bushes, getting cut up all over. What would drive someone to do that? I'm not sure yet. There's also a tape about a toxicology report. There were no signs of drinking or that he was on anything. What? But everyone said he went swimming drunk. Oh, stars. Pues es mentira. I found a tape that introduces a new detail to the story. Post-mortem injury. Apparently, his arm got caught in a car door. A car door? Yeah, after he died. How do you suppose they can tell? How can they tell? I'm a radio producer, not a coroner. I, um, I think I found Clive's last recording. I think Clive might be gone. Gone? I found a confession, not for any killings, but ah, you don't cover the murder of George. George. The whistling man already got him. Possibly, we've had a lot of callers tonight, but maybe not every victim made it to the phone. You know. We don't know how many there really are. Christ, Forrest, that's dark. I know, but Clive said he had read about other murders in other towns, and that the murders were all folks who knew about the incident, and the killings were getting closer to Gallows Creek. He said he wanted to do something good for once. The board in his office. He wasn't tracking people down to kill them. Para ayudarla. Tracking them down to stop claro. them. Uh, why didn't he just come out with all of this? Uh, he said his employer threatened his family if he spoke out about any of it. His employer? The one who orchestrated the cover-up? Oh, Clive. I'm sorry for thinking... No for Clive, chicos. Do you think you found everything, Forrest? I think there's gotta be more down here. I need to find all the tapes. You think so? How much did Clive have si tengo there? todo, no? Well, if there are more tapes, then there must be more maps to follow, right? That seems to be the case. All right then. Buzz the intercom when you find something. Pero qué dices? Aún me faltan. No me lo puedo creer. Dice que me faltan cassettes. O sea, sí, sí, puedo escuchar. Qué raro, ¿no? No tiene sentido. He seguido todas las fotos, creo. Me ha dejado sorprendido eso. Entiendo que están todos en el mismo lugar. Aquí dentro. Vale, hemos escuchado todos. 
Oh, eso creemos. Sí. ¿Qué me puede faltar, chicos? Está el código este, que no entiendo muy bien de dónde es. ¿Dónde está esa máquina? Para pulsarlo del código. No tiene sentido. Pero tiene que haber un, lo del código y eso me dará un cassette más, ¿no? Y no me dieron más fotos. Más mapas para seguir, como dicen ellos. ¿No? El último fue el ventilador. Me he dejado algo aquí, ¿eh? Aquí dentro, sí. Me he dejado uno. Vale, el último era este. Que sé que está al final. Me faltó escuchar este. ¿Qué dice aquí? Lo siento por hacerte esto, Virginia. Informe de investigación del médico forense del condado. Nombre del fallecido, George Barro. Fecha y hora de la muerte sobre las 9 de la noche del 9 de febrero del 68. O, o al revés, porque aquí lo ponen al revés en... Vale, sí. Ya está aquí cambiado. 2 de septiembre del 68. El fallecido es un hombre caucásico de 18 años. Se ha determinado que la muerte se ha producido por ahogamiento, de acuerdo con los indicios de asfixia. Ha contado abrasiones en los nudillos, probablemente causadas por peleas en el pasado, lo cual encaja con el historial de agresividad del fallecido. No se han hallado más heridas y de la médico forense opina que no hay motivo de sospecha, Jolín, es que la forense fue la que lo lió. Mintió. Además, el informe toxicológico preliminar indica que el fallecido tenía un alto nivel de alcohol en sangre. La médico forense opina que el fallecido intentó nadar en estado de embriaguez, lo que provocó su ahogamiento. Examinado a la Virginia Sullivan y luego pone ahí abajo, siento haberte obligado a hacer esto, Virginia. O sea, la obligaron a decir cosas que no eran ciertas. Ostras. Esto es importante, ¿eh? Virginia, es esa. Uh. Doctora Sullivan. Si es ella, ¿no? Sí. Maldición. Pues ahora sí que sí, hemos encontrado todo. Pero este era el último. Voy a volver. Curioso, chicos. Curioso que se tuvo que encubrir. Vino una voz ahí extraña. A decir que dejase de grabar. En another tape, the coroner comes to the same conclusion as I did. George was running from something. Hmm. Maybe an animal? Maybe, but then there's this next bit where the coroner thinks he was moved post death. Oh. Moved the body? How weird. Le hicieron cambiar the todo, the eh, toda su declaración. And demanded the doctor, uh, Dr. Sullivan, to stop recording. Dr. Sullivan. Wait. La oyente de antes. Well, then our caller was involved in a conspiracy around this boy's death. We need to call her back once we finish down here. It looks like she might know something about what's going on. Qué bueno, tío. I found a written autopsy report. What did they say? According to that, it's just like you said at the start. George drowned after getting drunk. Said he liked to fight too. But that contradicts the tape. I know. And I think I know why. There's a note with a report that says, I'm sorry I made you do this, Virginia. If it was on the autopsy report, 
Then Virginia must be our coroner. Claro. Wait, the caller from earlier. When we had to call the takeout restaurants, wasn't her name Virginia? Do you think you found everything? I think so. Lo tenemos todo. What's going on here? Someone wanted that boy's death to seem like an accident. Por qué? And they hired Clive to make it look that way. Claro. Uh, come back upstairs when you're ready. We need to figure out our next step. Wow. Ahora sí hemos descubierto un montón de cosas, eh. God, no sabemos quién es el asesino. I've been running out of stuff to pad our airtime with. Peggy, you huh. work in radio. Forrest, I'm stressed. I mean, really. How are we supposed to keep a show going with all this happening? Es nuestro trabajo. This is our job, Peggy. We got to do it. Oh, you're right. So, what's the plan now? I think we should call for Jamemos a Virginia de nuevo. All right. I'll get her on the line. Uy. Time to turn the music off. Hello again, Gallows Creek. This is Forrest Nash. Uy. We're circling closer to the truth behind tonight's events. Uy. To this end, we're calling back one of our earlier callers, Virginia Sullivan. Vale, Virginia, a ver, contéstame. Fredman Plunker here. Who's this? Is it you? Good. Eh, sí, Bunker, hey, it's the Radio Man, Forrest Nash. Radio Man? Bueno, nenes. Bueno. Solving mysteries, saving lives. The huge. Right, 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 right on. Plunker, what are you doing at Virginia's house? She asked if we could stay. Ah, estaba vigilando, ¿os acordáis, no? La chica que estaba asustada. So we're hanging out, bro. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's big of you, Plunker. Oh, it's nothing. Can I speak to Virginia? Dang, Radio Man. I'll just go get her. Who is this? Hey, Virginia. Virginia, it's Forrest. I'm, I'm glad you're still okay. Oh, Forrest. Sorry, I'm still jumpy. Mmm, <coughs> tranquila. Don't be sorry. You've been through a lot. I'm so sorry this happened to you, Virginia. I thought I was. I thought... Easy. We're not calling to talk about earlier. We're calling because we think you can help us understand why this is happening tonight. Me? What ha. would I know? Se hace la tonta, ¿eh? Does the name Clive mean anything to you? Clive? No. I don't know that name. What are you asking about this for? You mentioned that name earlier when you called us the first time. I yeah. don't know what I said then. I was petrified, Forrest. Clive's the janitor at our station, and we know you spoke to him in the past. Forrest, please. You don't know what you're doing. He'll come for me. Virginia, it's okay. Clive won't be coming after you. We think Clive's dead. Dead? But isn't he? He's the whistle. Eso creíamos. We thought so too, but you don't understand. All those years ago, he. It's okay, Virginia. He's gone. We found evidence to suggest he. Well. And we found your autopsy reports for George Barrow. Todo esto en el aire, en la radio. I saw him destroy them. Well, he didn't. I don't know if he kept them or made copies or what, but. Clive al final se arrepintió. We know it's related to what's happening tonight. Which is why we called you. Why did you write a false report? I... All right. One day, I came into work to find a... a boy on my slab. And as I finished the autopsy, this man, Clive, he just burst in. And he started making demands to give over the reports to falsify what I found? Of course I said no. But, well, when someone wants to make you do something, they can use the carrot or the stick. For me, he used both. You see, my sister is sick. 
She has a chronic condition that's never going away. Oh, it's yeah. expensive to treat, and it was getting to where I couldn't afford it. And Clive promised me that his employer would pay for my, my sister's treatment if I did what he said. And that if I ever spoke about this, he'd beat me to within an inch of my life. I don't know why he had me do it, but my sister needed me. You have to understand, she needed me. We understand. Thank you, Virginia. That was brave. God, I just want this nightmare to end. This will help end it, Virginia. Thank you. Stay safe, Virginia. Stay safe, Virginia. Stay safe, Virginia. Stay safe, So, Virginia is tied up in all of this. Clive threatened her to keep quiet about George's death. But for who? Why cover up these details? We could try Sandra. What would Sandra know? I don't know, but we have to start somewhere. Anyway, just be careful when you're talking to her. Don't push too hard. We don't want her to hang up. Sandra. I'll be careful. <coughs> All right, calling her now. Hopefully she's at her jazz studio. A ver, no hay que presionarla. Aha, Forrest, you're through. Hello, this is Sandra at Jazz Pizzazz Jazz Studio. Who is this? Hello again, Sandra. It's Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. And you're live on air. <laughs> oh, I always thought folks called into a radio show, not the other way around. <laughs> How jazzy. What can I do for you? Uh, well, <laughs> we're trying to understand what's behind the attacks tonight. We had a few questions. Why, Forrest, of course. Heck, after the way you saved my life. I'd say yes to just about anything you ask. Ah, eh. Suena bien. Really? Well, that sounds nice. I might just call you back tomorrow then too. Ah, you got my number. But what about tonight? Is there anything you want to talk about right now? Remember why we called, Forrest? <laughs> of course. Do you know why the whistling man might have targeted you? Ha! Hard like a doll. Knife-wielding psycho with superhuman cardio. He'd have chased after anybody. Right. We think he might be chasing specific people. People who know about the death of a boy named George. Oh, I don't know anything about that. Sorry. Hmm. Have you had to keep quiet about anything? Any secrets you've had to keep? What would I have to keep quiet about? I don't know. I mean... Could be that you've seen something or heard something. I never saw anything. Oui. Even if I did, what would that matter? Bueno, yo, sir. And, and it was years ago. Sandra, are you okay? It was years ago. We know, Sandra. You do? You know about? Uh, yes, of course. <sighs> This studio is my life. Ah, no, con todo ella, el cuerpo. Sure, I understand. When the rent just kept going up, he said he'd stop if I just needed to keep quiet, and everything would be okay. You covered up the murder of a boy for a dance studio? That's I low, Sandra. I. Tío, I... gasto sin querer. No quería poner eso. Quería decir miserable al otro, no a ella. Qué fail. Eh. A ver, el automático oh. dónde está. Jolín, tío, soy tonto o qué. Pensaba que era miserable, pero. Miserable el otro, no ella. Qué miserable el tipo el que te hizo eso. Y yo he puesto que miserable a ella, ¿no, hombre? Voy a contestar lo mismo, ¿vale? Madre mía, tío, ¿cómo voy a decirle eso? Claro, si la persona es así, se va. Entonces, vamos a tardar, Dios. Hay que apoyarla, pobrecita. Ella fue quien encontró el cuerpo del pobre chaval de 18 años, asesinado de George. Suena bien. Vamos a decir lo mismo, que vamos muy bien. Y voy a intentar no ser tan tonto de interpretar mal las respuestas. Remember why we called, Forrest? Of mm. course. 
Do you know why the whistling man might have targeted you? Vale, en principio. Y vamos súper bien y la he liado pardísima, ¿eh? No sé, gracioso, porque estamos hablando de súper tranquilitos. Y yo quería decir, qué miserable el que te obligó a, a quedarte callada por el alquiler. Y dice, es una miserable, ¿cómo pudiste hacer esto? No, hombre, no. ¿Cómo de Sandra? Sandra, Sandra. Claro. Sure. Lo entiendo. Y luego de repente le digo, es una miserable. Sandra. Es que miserable. Claro. Of course. We understand. Llamada. Welcome to 189.16 The Scream with me, your host, Forrest Nash. Hi, Forrest. I know this is really out of the blue with everything happening tonight. Colleen. But I wondered if you could send this special birthday message to my uncle. Eh, claro. You know what? I'd welcome a change of pace. Felicitamos el cumpleaños a tu tío. Thank you, Forrest. He's my uncle Ronnie. His first name's Peter. But he never liked his name. But since he always had salt and pepper hair, even as a kid, can you believe it? Folks always called him Pepper. Uh, Pepper. Thanks for the history lesson. Is there anything besides happy birthday you would like to say to Mr. Pepper? Oh my god damn it! Yes! <laughs> Tell him he can get the best no, birthday deals of party packages here at Pony's Pizza! Start a You son of a bitch! Stop calling! Yes, okay. Sería, tío. Let's just move on. Colin, We've siempre already daría. got another caller on the line. This is 189.16, The Scream. I'm Forrest Nash. You're on the air, caller. Oye. Llorando. Caller. Ponty. ¿Cómo ha podido llamar si ya estaba llamando? Dice, dice tenemos otra llamada. No lo entiendo. Uy, estoy súper enfadado, ¿eh? Jesús, Forrest. Sorry, sorry, that was that was too much. It's okay. It's been a high stress night. Don't worry about him anymore, okay? Not for tonight, anyway. I think he's spent for now. We've got another call. Whenever you're ready. ¿Cómo ha llamado de seguidas? Folks, don't spend your money at Pawnee's Pizza. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Moving along. I'd like to welcome another caller to 189.16, The Scream, with me, Forrest Nash. Who, may I say, is calling? Well, hello again, Forrest. Don. Ah, vale. I bet I know why you're calling. I'm sorry I didn't play your song. There's a lot going on. But please? Uh, never mind that now. Forrest, I'm calling uh -huh. because I need your help. ¿Estás en peligro? Are you in danger? 
I sure am. Do you mean? Yes, he's after me now. Ah, va por ella. I think so. He must have heard me on the radio. Help me. Uh oh. You. No, you're this, man. Helping? You didn't exactly help. Maybe I've been helping more than you know. I was out following a lead, trying to work out who would be next after Chuck. And what happened? And I started to feel like I was being followed. I came back to my apartment building, but this newfangled security system ah, has locked down. Ah, esto más seguridad, tío. I need you to help me get inside. Lo de los códigos. Lo de los códigos, chicos. Don't you have a key to get in? Only for the apartment door. The front gate requires an entry code. Claro. The future is electronic, I guess. I need that code. Código para acceder. Siete uno cinco nueve catorce. Which apartment do you live in? Maybe one of our listeners lives there too. It's the new Woodside apartment building between the town hall and the trailer park. But the Woodside. I doubt any of your listeners live there. I don't have many neighbors. Sounds like a prime piece of real estate. The sound really carries at night. Sí, sí, escucha de todo. El perro de un vecino. Is that a neighbor's dog? Yes, it is. Boy, I wish he'd muscle that thing and oh, and now he's blasting David Scobo out of his window. This night can't get any. It's coming down the street. Oh, oh, el hombre silbido. Nene, ya está. Ahí ven. Lo tengo, lo tengo, lo tengo. No me da el sistema. What's the name of the security system? Lo tenemos. Lo tenemos, chicos. Siete uno cinco nueve catorce. We'll see what we can do. Thank you, Forest. Yeah, of course. Don't worry, Don. Thank you, Forest. I knew I could count on you. I'll sit out of sight. Lo tenemos ya realmente, lo he pillado antes. All right, folks. Here's the secret. Joy. While I try to break Dawn into her apartment. Here comes one of my favorites. You were pretty quiet there, Peggy. Horace, sí. was it just me or was there something? It wasn't just you. Something was weird about that. Yeah. Well, tell you what, we have a Starling 4000 or whatever here at sí. KFAM. Clive bought one for the station. Maybe we can find something to help. Lo tengo, lo tengo. I'm not sure who, but to help someone. Vale, a ver si me hace bajar o no. Supongo que me tendré que traer el papel. Okay, so she's locked out of the Woodside Apartments, and somewhere Clive probably has the papers for the Starling 4000. Me traigo los papeles yo. Y así ya, pues, lo tenemos ahí delante. Aunque me apunté los códigos de todas formas, pero bueno. No está de más, chicos. Ah, pero te se llamó. Vale. Lo del código está... Eh, aquí, ¿no? O sí. Sí. El código está aquí. Es un buen paseíto. Pero me llevo la hoja. Order delivery form. Starling must have left this by accident. The system's not even installed. Es que me lo encontré por por accidente. Dice que no está instalado. ¿Por qué no está instalado? El de la calle donde vive ella, ¿no? Se supone. Pero si no está instalado. No tengo alarma. Vale, venimos con todo. Lo colocamos aquí. Detrás no hay nada. Vale. Ahí. Ay, no, pero faltan los códigos, ¿no? Faltan los códigos. Esto es importante, pero faltan los códigos. Yo me los apunté, pensaba que estaba todo junto, pero no. Well, 
Bueno, vaya paseo me hago, ¿eh? No diréis que ha sido una noche normal aquí en la radio, no, ha sido una noche muy especial. Han pasado demasiadas cosas. La verdad es que el juego tiene una originalidad asombrosa. <coughs> Llevamos años y años subiendo juegos de terror y nunca hago como esta. Ah, sí, estoy un poco tonto. No lo he dejado. These codes should come in handy. Por supuesto. Van a ser claves para que sobreviva esta persona. No está el asesino por aquí fuera. Molaría verlo, ¿eh? Asesino. A lo mejor solo habla con silbidos. Y hay que hablarle con silbidos. Vale, creo que quito este y pongo este. Ahí está. Esto, ahí, este, ahí. Vale, bajamos música, cortamos llamada. O sea, vamos, cortamos la música. Ah, no. Seguimos sin música. Si no está en el aire. And did you find anything else? I saw a list of everyone else who bought the Starling 4000. Know who was on there? Oh my god. Roller Ricky. I Do you think we should give him a call? Hay que llamarle, hay que llamarle. Is that crazy? I don't know what you'd say, but That might be a good idea. Okay, one moment. I got the number here. Patching Hi, through. He probably oh. can't hear it over the music. Forrest, I don't know about this. This is super weird. Just put me through to Don. I'll take care of this one way or another. Vaya. Okay. No contesta, so. eh, Ricky. Kyle. When you're ready, shut the music off. Son cuatro o cinco segundos. Esto es importante. Decíselo bien, eh. Okay, Forrest. Shut the music off. Line one. Whenever you're ready. Venga, línea 1. Okay. Right there. This is Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Scream. Oh, thank God you're back. I'm so afraid. What's Va, the code? 71. Código de la puerta es... A ver. ¿Qué hago? Pongo el código y ya está, o de abajo le quito la... Espera, voy a guardar la partida primero, que la voy a liar. Este. The code is no. no, 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 no es ese, no es ese. No es ese, que no es ese, que no, no le haces nada. Acceso. Ah, sí. ¿Por qué se ríe? Forrest, ¿qué hicimos? No, tío, no, es la mala. Le hemos dado un código que necesitaba para hacer algo malo, se ha reído. ¿Se la lío? Se la voy a liar, a ver qué pasa. Dios, 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 eso es algo malo. Queremos que se ríe, ¿no? Eh, el código es... Eh, The code is 191519. Thank you, Forrest. Como sabemos que es mala, pero como se ha reído. Cantado. Sí. Es ella. Hemos salvado a Rick, ¿eh? Thank God. Hello, is someone there? 
Ricky, get back inside and turn oh. on the radio. Whoever that was, she was trying to break into the radio. Sí, 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 sí. She? Que ya Marsh, man, you got no idea. That was him. That was the whistling no. man. Es ella, es, es la chica esta que nos llamaba. Pues aparecía en el panfleto ese. Me ha salvado a Ricky. Esto era muy difícil, eh, realmente, porque si hacías lo correcto, le ayudabas. Por cierto, eh... Here's some music while we process what just happened. Por cierto, por cierto, so, por cierto. The whistling Exacto. man. Y is además a era woman? La, la que hizo el panfleto, ese que vimos abajo, era entre ella y al que mataron. Podría haber sido ella quien mató a su amigo o a su pareja o se está vengando por lo que le pasó a su, no sé, es algo raro. I know. I, I can't believe it. She called up. You spoke to her multiple times. Buah. I thought she was just regular Gallows Creek strange. Really, Forrest? Mm -hmm. Why do you think she requested that song? To get me outside? Maybe, but how? She didn't know the song was outside to start with. That's right. She never actually attacked me out there. So? Qué raro. What now? I guess I should make an announcement. We do have new info. Okay, kill the music and you can make the announcement. Qué cosa más rara acaba de pasar con la tía esta. Iba a entrar a matar a Ricky el patinador. <coughs> um, vale, que tomo la música. Okay, you're live in three, two. Hey folks, this is Forrest Nash here. I hope you're all safely locked inside. For those of you listening to that last call, you might you wondering what to make of it all. Here's our take. We now believe the killer is actually a woman, one who might manipulate you into letting her in before she attacks you. Oh, yeah. I'm sad to say, but it's time to trust no one. The killer was calling themselves Dawn. This could be a fake name. If anyone needs help, tenemos el nombre auténtico abajo. On the killer, please call in. Lo tenemos. You have my new number, right? It's nine one one. Hopefully, our next caller can help shed some light on our killer. Hey, we had a call come in. Okay, folks, time to take a call. You're through to Forrest Nash on one eighty nine point sixteen, The Scream. Hey, man. Murphy? Murphy. Damn yeah, straight. What's going on, Murphy? You in danger again? <laughs> no, nah, man. I've just been listening to the show here at home. And since you asked folks to call in if they can help out, well, I'm calling. I don't know if I can say as much as other folks have, but uh, I figure I wouldn't be a good role model to a man, though. Ah, Murphy is the one who has a lot of pain. You're a good father, Murphy. Absolutely. Fernando's a lucky kid. Oh, thanks. So, uh, what do you want to know? Well, what can you... Uh, Oui. I don't know, really. All right. Well, do you know anything about the death of George Barrow? Absolutely nothing. Okay. What about the killer herself? Herself? Man, I... I didn't get my ass kicked by Parece a lady. Que sí que fue una chica. Well, I went toe-to-toe. It was a man, man. You heard the last call, right, Murphy? Yep. So you know it's a woman, and you were trained by a VHS, Murphy. I, I know, but... Man, how could it have been a woman under that mask? Let's just move on. Do you know anything about the history of the Whistling Man? <sighs> no, sir. Tonight's the first time I ever heard of him. What? I moved here three years ago, man. What do you want from me? Llamas? Hey, man, no worries. Just thank you for trying. Right. Sorry I couldn't help y'all no more, man. Now, you need to ask me about gators. Forrest, we have a call coming in. Sorry, Murphy. I think that's all we've got time for right now. Uh, all right, all right. 
I'll catch y'all with the gator talk later. Not. Well, folks, that was a bust. But perhaps our next caller has more they can tell us. Let's find out. All right. This is Forrest Nash, and you're listening. Please help me. My name is Casey Moore. I'm a 25 Nancy Drive. My best friend's been stabbed. He's he's bleeding everywhere. I don't know what to do. Please help me. Eh, ¿Qué ha pasado? Is he still breathing? He, yeah, but, but he's bleeding out fast. I really need help. Please. Take a breath. We've been out at the reservoir. We were heading back to his place. We <coughs> oh, stars. Forest. Then what happened? He went up the road and talked to someone. I couldn't really hear or see anything. It sounded like he might have known the person, and they just stabbed Mwah. him. Era una mujer. Casey, <coughs> was he talking to a woman? I don't know. They had a mask and wore all black. That's all I know. Please, we need help here. I'll get you help, but I need to know where did the masked person go? Wait, why didn't she make sure he was dead? I don't know. I think I heard them say something like, it's not so funny now, is it? Before they left, but... Ah, no están gracioso. Please, he needs to get to the hospital. I can't drive, so we need an ambulance. Forrest, the ambulance was destroyed in the explosion sí. at the gas station. You should get all the info you can. ¿Cómo se llama tu amigo? No, no te daría. Can you tell us where your friend was stabbed? They stabbed him in the stomach and then stabbed him again in his leg when he was on the ground and it's Ma. Oh, the knife is still there in his leg. What's your friend's name, Casey? It's Jason, Jason Parker. We'll be right back. Peggy, patch us through to the hospital. On it. Phoning St. Gabriel's now. Switch to line two. Jason Parker. Aquí no está, ¿no? Vale, al hospital, chicos. Hello, St. Gabriel's Hospital. How can I help you? Hi, this is Forrest Nash from 189.16. <clears throat> We have a stab victim at 25 Nancy Drive named Jason Parker. He's been stabbed in the stomach and the leg. He's bleeding heavily. Oh, God, I'm sorry. But the ambulance is... Well, you know. I know, but please, we need something or he's going to die. Forrest, I... Listen, you're going to have Mwah. to get him here. ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? We need to see him and we can't get there ourselves right now. We don't have any way to drive him right now. And even if we did, he's bleeding out fast. All right, listen. We need to buy him time to get here. That means stopping the blood first and then finding wow, something to stabilize him. To stabilize him, you really need someone with first aid training. Do either of you have any? No. Me neither. Uh, damn it. I'm really sorry about this, but I have other patients who can't wait. All I can do is talk you through the procedure as quick as I can, and then leave the rest to you. You think you can handle that? Sam. Hit me. I'm sure we can handle it. Okay, from the top. If he's bleeding out, then you need to get him comfortable and try to stem the bleeding. Lay him down. Apply continuous pressure directly to the affected areas. When the bleeding slows, get a clean cloth of some kind and hold it over the wounds. Get them comfortable. Apply pressure clean cloths when slowed got it i think you said he was stabbed right if the object he was stabbed with is still any don't take it out no, no. it's stopping the worst of the bleeding right now if anything you should secure it so it stays where it is i wouldn't have thought of that it makes sense though sí, yo había escuchado eso. God, that was a lot no of info, but i think we can handle this glad you got it so far because there's more to go eh, vale, voy a apuntarlo, chicos. Eh, presionar heridas. Presionar herida. Luego, tela limpia. Si para la hemorragia. Y luego, eh, no quitar cuchillo. No quitar cuchillo. Más cosas. 
I'm still with you, Doc. What else do we need to know? If he's lost a lot of blood, he may enter shock. Mm -hmm. If he does, act fast. If you apply a cloth and it's bleeding through, don't remove it. Just apply another on top of it. If it's safe, elevate his legs to get blood circulating to his vital organs. Try to keep him warm. Get him to rest and reassure him. We need the patient to stay calm. <sighs> All right. Uh, don't replace bandages. No uh, no no no. Keep him warm and calm. This is a lot. I'm really sorry. That's as much as I can give no you. No right no no no. Stop the bleeding. Find Alzar someone to get him stabilized piernas. and get him here as quick as you can. Good luck. All right, Darle Forrest. Casey's still on line one. Calor y calmarlo. Calmarlo. Vale. Lo tengo todo apuntado, creo. Oh, oh, Forrest, are you there? ¿Qué tal, Jason? I'm here. How is Jason doing? Badly. He's still bleeding. I need help. I've been putting pressure on his stomach wound since you left. But he's still bleeding. La tela. I don't know what to do. That's good, Casey. The nurse said to do that. What about the knife in his leg? No se toca. It's gotta be hell. Should I pull it out? No toques el cuchillo. No, don't touch the knife. The bleeding will get worse if you pull it out. Are you sure? I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop making suggestions. No, don't worry, Casey. We're a team here. We're all going to get Jason Venga, through this. Jason, Casey, is his leg wound bleeding right now? <laughs> I hate looking at that knife. Yeah, yeah. It's bleeding. His stomach is worse, though. Fijar el cuchillo, dejar el cuchillo ahí. Vale, dejar el cuchillo ahí. All right. I, I think we need to leave that knife alone. All right. I'll just keep putting pressure on his stomach for now. Forrest, vale. can I have a word? Vale. Casey, I'm going to have a quick word with Peggy. Keep putting that pressure on and let us know when the bleeding is under control. You're doing great. But what if something happens? We'll still be here. Just shout if you need anything and we'll be there. I promise. Okay. Así conseguimos salvarlo. Oh, Jason, please be okay. Hay que decirnos a esta mujer, Peggy, ¿qué pasa, Peggy? No es un buen momento. ¿Qué ocurre? What's up, Peggy? We can't stay on the line with her all night. Dawn is still out there. What if other people need us? Oh, you're right. Uh -oh. She's probably on her way to her next target right now. Exactly. And you heard the nurse. We need someone there with training who can stabilize him. Uh -oh. He's got to get to the hospital somehow. Any suggestions, Peggy? I might. A little before you started working here, KFAM did a mandatory first aid training course. Me and Karen missed it because we were away on a producer getaway. You skipped it, didn't you? I, never mind. So, how does KFAM's first aid course help us? Casey said they're at 25 Nancy Drive, right? Yeah, why? They put up a bunch of cheap houses around there about 10 years ago. So a bunch of people here at the station live around there. Do you think any of them could help Casey and Jason? Probably, but I don't know who lives there. And since I missed the training day, I don't know who knows first aid. Could you call them and ask? I don't vale, know everybody's el curso. I've only ever called Karen. Everybody's personnel info is probably in Reggie's office. Got it. I'll look through their files in Reggie's office. El despacho de Reggie. Sure ¿Cuál es el despacho de, 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 right. de Reggie? But there are a couple of problems with that. ¿Cuáles? Go on. It's sensitive information, so Reggie probably locked it in his safe. Oof. Great. Great. Do you have any idea what the combo for the safe could be? Not a clue. Reggie's a serial note taker, though. Maybe something in his office will give it away. En su despacho puede right. haber una pista, ¿vale? There is something else. I'm not gonna like this, am I? Have you ever heard, the future is floppy? Peggy, what the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about floppy disks. Los disquets. Floppy disks are like futuristic things bueno, that have information los 80, sí, lo era. You put them in a computer and they do something. Peggy, I know what a floppy disk is. Anyway. Reggie decided that the future is floppy and started phasing out our physical records and replacing them with these floppy disks. I imagine it's the same for our personnel files. That's good to know. Since we haven't heard anything from Casey, I'm guessing Jason's okay for now. I'll check out Reggie's office and see what I can find. ¿Cuál es el de Reggie? I'll just slide it under my door ah, now. Está Thanks, Peggy. 
I just have to look around. Ah, debe ser eh, uno de los que no nos deja, no nos deja abrir. ¿Qué okay. pasa? I'll patch my mic down to the office, so okay. you'll hear me over the intercom. Vale. Está montada por todo lado, ¿eh? Esta, esta mujer. Espectacular. Vale, nos llevamos la llave del despacho. Y se supone que el despacho está abajo. Hay varios que no podíamos entrar. Y uno era este. Este privado. Es este, sí. Vale. Muchas cosas que... Mirar aquí. Importante parece que esta. Certificado de finalización. Este documento certifica que Reginald Scott ha completado con éxito el curso estándar de primeros auxilios para heridos. Muy bien. Él lo hizo, pero necesitamos a alguien más, ¿no? Code. Cuatro dígitos para poner dónde. ¿Veis la caja fuerte? Yo no la veo. A ver. Vamos a acentrarnos en el lugar. Eh, ah, sí, está aquí. <risa> vale, cuatro números para esta caja fuerte. Y dice... Pista fecha muy importante. ¿Ok? Fecha muy importante. Esa es la pista que nos da. No puedo volver a poner esto. Maravilloso. La puedo poner en la mesa. Fecha muy importante. Eh, cositas. ¿Qué es esto? No importa. Lo que no importa lo quito. Que me está aquí quitando sitio. Al suelo. Vale. Recordad que el cumpleaños de Reggie Junior. Es el 10 de septiembre, no el 9 de septiembre. 10.09. 10 o 10.09. Se podía probar. Pues no es eso. Parecía importante, ¿no? Una fecha de su compañero de su hijo. Está sin usar. ¡Hacha! Hay un 4. Tengo que escribir el documento de presentación. Buen título. Recuperar al protagonista y al villano principales. Axe Forever. El 4 tiene que ser el número que falta. Entonces debe ser 4. Uno cero nueve cuatro. Cuatro nueve diez. Cuatro diez nueve. Salud para cabras. Veintiocho. 2086, 2112. La hora y el día. 2086, 2112. Ay. 2112. con 40 fue lo que costó. Es una fecha muy especial, una fecha muy especial. 21. 20 de julio, o sea, 20 de julio del de 86. Fueron a comer. Pero no era su cumpleaños. ¿Y aquí? ¡Ah! Alien Heights. No grabar encima. Y dice... 12.45. Diez, jolín. Dieciocho, diez. Dieciocho, diez. 
68, 10, 65. No entiendo qué tengo que hacer. Esto es todo lo que tenemos, ¿eh? Mucha información. Fecha muy especial. Voy a ponerlo todo en la mesa porque, claro. En el... Y luego está el 4 este raro. Y un 4 muy raro. Otra. Preguntaba a Jenny por las cintas. Ya van semanas de retraso. Claro, si estás leyendo esto, deja de robarme las noticias. Y luego está lo de los disquets. Insertar disquet. Disquet. Lo ponemos. Un repartidor de pizza asesino que mata con un corta pizza. Deja que te corte un cacho. Lo aterrador es que nunca reparte pizzas. ¿Qué le pasó al anterior repartidor? Tal vez pueda meterlo como el novio de la protagonista. <coughs> la protagonista, esto es un poco como el, el libro que, que quería escribir. Bueno, tenemos un 1107. Los eventos suceden el 7 de noviembre. Una fecha muy importante para la ciudad. La gran reunión de gansos en un evento, es un evento en el que un gran número de gansos aparece de pronto y salva a la ciudad de una hambruna. Hay que matar a los seres queridos de Megan a lo largo de la película. Claro, H4 es la película. Quizá podamos crear una promoción en colaboración con la pizzería Ponti para el lanzamiento que, que ve uno de cada diez pedidos que lleva un corta pizza y entradas para la película. Eh, 11.07. O 0711. Nice. Vamos. Ok. La cantidad de skets. Archivo de personal. Carter. Bradley Carter. Voy a ir de uno, de uno en uno. Saco este. El que ya hemos visto. Lo voy a guardar. ¿Esos golpes? Han habido golpes. ¿Qué ha pasado, tío? No me ha gustado, eh. Hey Peggy, ¿estás there? Eh, caja fuerte abierta. No lo veo. No lo veo, no lo ubico. No. Aquí, Nancy Drive. Nancy Drive, chicos. Ok. No tengo nada para colocar ahí. Entonces, tendría que vivir cerca. Bond Street, Axel Long, vale. A ver, primer archivo. Bradley Carter, crítico gastronómico. Axel Down Lane 31. Axe Down, ¿eh? Está muy cerca. Está muy cerca, muy cerca. Yo diría que ese. La verdad. De momento diría que vamos a llamar a... <coughs> Bradley Carter. Este es mi elegido. Voy a mirar más, pero yo diría que es ese. Bradley Carter... Get a load of this, Peggy. Apparently, I'm a lone wolf type. Así soy yo. Lo vos solitario, eh. We have a man literally dying on the line, and you're more interested in you. Vale, el mío no vale. El mío no vale. Lógicamente yo no estoy. Can read the rest of this later. Soy lo vos solitario. Vale. 
¿Alguien mejor más cerca? Esta es Peggy. Maybe don't bring those little drink umbrellas into work for a while. What? Why are you reading my files? You need to find someone who can help Casey. We already know I can't. Ostras, tío, estamos cotilleando. You're right. I'm sorry. Estamos cotilleando. We need to focus on possible candidates. I really shouldn't have read both. We're in a hurry. Una persona muriendo sin otros aquí cotilleando los archivos. Hannah Lawson vive en Nancy Drive 22. Pues es que vive ahí, Karen. O sea, hemos dicho Nancy Drive. Pues ella vive en Nancy Drive, el otro vive abajo. Pues Karen, ¿no? Perfecto. Ah, no, pero Karen no fue. Karen no fue, tío. No aprendió porque se fue con esta, ¿no? No nos sirve. Claro, es como que las dos fallaron. Lástima. John Hedges. Nancy Drive 14. John se ha negado a colaborar con el instructor de primeros auxilios durante el curso. Ya sé que fue médico de guerra, pero la política de la emisora es que todo el mundo participe sin excepciones. Yo enviaría a John Hedges. Médico de guerra. Muy bien. Aunque no hiciese eso. Al parecer John tiene un montón de equipo médico en su casa Que consiguió del ejército, del ejército al final del servicio militar ¿Eso es legal? ¿Tengo que denunciarlo? Vale Yo diría que John tiene lo que tiene que tener para salvar a alguien Fue médico de guerra y tiene cosas médicas Y este que yo había elegido No he leído su archivo, pero seguro que no es tan... Tan bueno Aunque hiciese el curso Y viva cerca estaba, estaba loco por contratar a Brad como crítico astronómico Además, no dice Brad y Bárbara se han perdido casi toda la sesión de formación de primeros auxilios No sabe, se lo perdió Fue, pero no, no estuvo muy atento Nada, sin duda es John A ver Y el último sería Bárbara Albright, que también lo mismo Ha dicho que se perdió casi toda la sesión Nada, pues John Lo tenemos No, pues este es, este es el mío Bueno, era John, chicos Vale Este, John Hedges Hay que llamar a ese Hey Peggy, ¿estás ahí? Sí, estoy aquí ¿Has encontrado lo que necesitas? Sí I think I know who our best bet is to help Casey and Jason. All right, good work. Who should I? Hello? Is anybody there? Uh oh. Please pick up. Casey, I'm here. What's wrong? Jason started going pale. Uh oh. Trying to get the rest, but he just threw up everywhere. What's happening? What do I do? Están dando un shock. Se entraba en shock, había que subirle las patas. God, it sounds like he's going into shock. Casey, just stay calm. It's going to be okay. But the blazers seem to slow down. Did I mess up? Jason, I'm sorry. Casey, calm down. You've done everything right. I I need you to listen to me, okay? Buah. With Jason. Vamos a ver. What did the nurse say to do about shock? Pata para arriba. Casey, I need you to elevate Jason's legs. We need to get the blood flowing to his vital organs. Got it. Era eso, ¿eh? Okay. I sí, que esté cómodo. Jason. Eh, 
marcher pendant bien. Jason is going to be fine. Just make sure he knows he's going to be okay. Okay? On va dire merci quoi là. Vamos a enviar al médico de guerra. John. John Hedges. John Hedges. He lives on Nancy Drive. He didn't really participate in the first aid training, but he's a former war medic. He's probably the most trained person we have. Really? I never really spoke to him before. A war medic, huh? Y además tiene vendas y de todo. According to Reggie's notes. John keeps all of his old equipment at ah. his house. He's something of a hoarder. Right. What's his number? Uh, five four two zero seven three five. Eso no lo he visto, eh? no, no, no. Calling now. Let's hope he picks. Uh, who the hell is this calling me? What time is it? Está, John? John, it's <coughs> Forrest Nash here at KFAM. We have an emergency and we need your help. Forrest, if this is a work emergency, then it can wait until the goddamn morning. Hmm. Eh, médica. A man has been stabbed by the whistling man. Or, never mind. He's lost a lot of blood and he's passed out. We need you to help him. A whistling man? What kind of joke is this? John, we're not kidding. A man is gonna die if we don't help him right now. Seriously, I, I haven't been called on for over ten. Where's the patient? What's his condition? He's at 25 Nancy Drive. I think we got his friend to stem the bleeding, but he's gone into shock. He's passed out right now. You say he was stabbed? Do you know the extent of his injuries? From what we were told, he has two major stab wounds. One to the stomach and one to the leg. The knife is still in his leg and the stomach wound is open. Understood. Let me grab a few supplies and I'll head right over. Damned if he dies on my watch. Thank you, John. Hmm. We'll let him know you're on your way. Good luck. Hey, yeah. Casey, are you there? How are we doing? Bad. Jason seemed really weak. Ah, está muriendo, tío. What about now? Is he still thrashing? He's passed out. Please tell me you found someone to help. Casey, help is on the way. My colleague will be there soon. Ha llegado John. Vale, ya está, ¿no? Ha llegado el doctor. Está en un Bueno, creo que lo hemos cerrado, ¿eh? Con el doctor. And with that, the show moves on. Uf. We're sending our best wishes to Jason. Por favor, sí. Creo que hemos salvado a Jason, chicos. Guardo. Seguimos, chicos. All that excitement. I think we could use some music. Pongamos una canción. Pues ten tendré que ir para allá, ¿no? Para poner la canción. Hostia, las quintas porras. Bueno, pues está muy interesante. Ya nos queda una puerta por abrir, chicos. Esta puerta de aquí no la hemos abierto todavía. Parece que no va a entrar hoy ahí. Pues a lo mejor no queda ninguna puerta, quién sabe. Hemos podido ayudar a ese pobre que estaba ahí sufriendo. Espectacular. Y la verdad es que está siendo increíble todo lo que nos está sucediendo. Vale. Entramos. Hola, Peggy. ¿Me hablas o no me hablas? Pongo un disco, vale, voy a poner. No hay más discos por ahí. Dice discos obtenidos dos. Tiene que haber más discos por el. por la radio, porque es como que. Aquí los. los marca. Solo dos discos. A ver, me ha dado ganas de poner un disco diferente. Llámame loco. I better put a record on. Sí, sí, pues por eso estoy buscando otro disco. Hijo mío. Para poner música diferente, ¿eh? ¿No hay más música o qué? Voy a enviar si hay algún disco en esta sala.
Porque encontré un cassette. El aire muerto es un crimen. Ya voy, ya voy. Pues no hay muchos discos, ¿eh? no sé dónde estarán, pero aquí no hay nada. Esto no, no lo leí, no parece tampoco importante. Vale, vámonos y ponemos un disco de los que ya tenemos. Sigamos siendo igual de originales eh, durante esta noche de radio. Que ya voy. Me voy a poner otra vez de Flow. Now it's time to go with the flow. And this is their hit, Crying for Help. It's getting pretty late. This might be your last break for the night, so try to enjoy it. Give me a buzz when you want to go back on air. Let's okay. roll. <coughs> you got it. We've got another call coming through, too. Llamada. When you're ready, shut the music off. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. I believe we have another caller on the line. How are you tonight, caller? Orange. Sigue pasando ahora. Hey, Max is here too. Y el perro. Ah, vos os escuchas al perro. Pues estaba cerca de él. Eh, ¿Estás bien? Are you okay? Not under attack again, are you? Ah, oh, we're good, man. Thanks to you. You're like our guardian angel. That wouldn't be a bad look for you, Forrest. Mm. A little white wing halo number. Maybe something for the KFAM Halloween party. All right, everyone, let's calm down. Ricky, I'm just glad we could help you and Maxie. Is there anything else we can help you with, Ricky? Actually, I think I have some info that might Information. help you. Te All right, I'm waiting. You see, man, uh, me and Jason know each other. You know each other? Yeah, we went to Gallus High and played on the football team together. He was a gnarly offensive linesman, and I was our star wide receiver. Runner Ricky, they called me. All right, mm. and what does that have to do with tonight? Well, because George, the guy who drowned, he was on our team too. Ah. Oh. What? You knew George? <coughs> yeah, but not long. We had our first team party on the night he drowned. Oh, stas. He seemed like such a good dude. Ricky. Were you there when George drowned? No, man. Once the party turned, I beat feet out of there. Man, I remember George and his girl there. There was a whole lot of love, man. I can oh, see yeah. it, you know? Did you say that, yeah? It's down. George's girl? Ricky, who was the girl? She, she might just be the one behind say, yeah, say, yeah. all of this. Porque lo vi en el, en lo no de abajo. way, man. No. There was so much love there. Se quería mucho. I can't believe she'd ever be capable of anything like this. Ricky, please. What was her name? I never got her name, man. Lo pone abajo, tío. She's got her being. Moca. I didn't really know her before or see her after that. Then what did she look like? Please, tell us anything you remember. I just remember a pretty girl, man. I'm sorry. Ricky, you said the party didn't last long. What happened? We were... Just having a good time, and then the next thing I knew, everyone was running for their life. Mm -hmm. I looked up. It's all goddamn. Yeah, estaba yo en medio del vidrio ya. And I never ran so fast in my life. I ran straight home. Didn't know about George until next morning at school. Ah, y fue esa noche. Guessing it was whistling night, wasn't it? <sighs> That the whistling man was just another kid. Yeah. I don't know how George died, but uh, I always felt like if anyone deserved to die that night, it should have been me. And. Ricky, it wasn't your fault. You're not a bad person. I know that now, ma'am. It took a long time to learn, but. Yeah, just thought I'd tell you all what I know. Wow. Thank you, Ricky. This pues Ricky was very good friend, eh? Well, you got it, man. Anyway, de I think it's time for me and Max to free up your phone lines. Thanks for listening, man. I'll let you to it. Ah! Night, Ricky. All es que es right, ella. folks. Looks like we got a new lead in the case. If anyone has any info about es que this mysterious el... being, voy a, voy a poner el papel, please call in. 
If she was George's girlfriend back then. A ver si me deja. She's probably in her mid to late 30s now. Huh. Oh, we have another call coming in. But hang on. Mm. What's up, Peggy? ¿Cómo está? Peggy. Peggy. What? You're going to want to take this call off the air. En privado. Just do it. All right, folks, it's time for another track. Here's one to help you sit back and relax. We'll be right back after this. Uh, I hope this is good news, Peggy. A ver quién es. Who have we got? Find out for yourself on line one. Hello? Forrest. Let's I'm see. glad I got back Hombre, al principio del juego. Sounds like it's been a busy night, huh? Surprise! It's Leslie, our 911 operator, leading hmm. the charge from Henderson to come save us. It's so good to hear from you. Are you okay? We're doing okay. Sara and I are both happy to be headed back home. We're happy to have you too. I... Wait, Sara? Oh, yeah, I mean Deputy Martinez. <laughs> anyway, we got back into radio range a little while ago. We've been listening in, but haven't been able to get through until now. It's been non-stop since you left. Please tell us you're bringing help. You bet. I'm leading a whole goddamn squad towards Gallows Creek as we speak. Yeah. That's great news. What's <coughs> crazy about the phone lines, though? Do you think the whistling man cut them? I'm guessing so. I don't know how he... How she... How the whistling <laughs> man did it. But that doesn't matter right now. Listen, we're coming in hot. Yo so sigo sospechando un poco de Peggy, eh? No sé por qué. Creek isn't a big town. But if we don't know where the whistling man is, we can't get him. Her. That's where you come in. Can you just count on us? What do you need? It might be a long shot, but here goes. The whistling man already called up a few times. I bet she calls again. We're still a little ways out of town, so if she calls, stall her. Vale. Buy as much time as you can for us to get in. And while you're talking to her, try to figure out where she is. Vale. We'll be listening in. So once her location is known, we'll head straight there and end this nightmare. Okay. I'll do my best. I know you will. Heck, I can see the headlines now. Morris Nash's interview of a lifetime. Anyway, I'll radio the other cars and tell them the plan is a go. Hopefully the next time I see you, it'll be with our killer behind bars. Vamos a ver. Take care now. We'll see you soon, Leslie. Oh, thank God. It sounds like this is almost over. We're nearly through this. Vale, eh, ojalá tenga razón. I hope you're right. The sooner this is over, the better. I am right. Trust me. Anyway, we should get you back on air. Taking callers is the only way to see this through. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Bringing you back live now. Welcome back to The Scream with me, Forrest Nash. The line is lit up, but before I get to our next caller, I just want to say things are looking up. It's almost over. But for now, let's bring in our next caller. I can ask. Evening caller, this is Forrest Nash. Hello, Forrest. John. This is John Hedges. John Hedges, I'm here with Casey. I wanted to give you an update on Jason. Medico de guerra. Is, is he going to be okay? <laughs> He's a fighter. He'll be Man. Good. We've got him stabilized and resting in a bed. We're preparing to move him to the hospital. Thank you so much. Man. If you haven't been there, then. God, I don't even want to think about what would have happened. Of course, Casey. We're just happy he's okay. John, Casey, you two did all the work. Tell Jason to get well soon from us, whenever he's up for it. Well, why don't you tell him yourself? Is this Forrest? Oh, so Jason. Jason, we meet at last. It's good to hear you, Jason. How are you? Oh, well, you know, I've got <laughs> a hole in my stomach, and there's a knife in my leg, but John gave me something to take the edge off. So, I might feel even better than either of you. Hmm. <laughs> Take it easy until you get to St. Gabriel's. I will. 
Algo sabe Jason. Guessing the whistling man is still out there. Yes, the whistling man's still out there. Why do you ask? You know something about the whistling man, don't you? Yeah. I do. All right. We talk about what happened earlier. Go for it. We spoke to Roller Ricky not long after you were attacked. You spoke to Ricky? Was he? Is he all right? He is now. I mean, he was attacked earlier, but this call came after. Hey guys, I'm really sorry, but there's a call on the other line. I just need to make sure we don't have another situation brewing. You fill Jason in on what happened. I'll be right back. Sure, Peggy. Vale. Sorry, Jason. Uh, where was I? Está hablando ah, ella con alguien. Yep. Ricky's fine. <laughs> you don't need to worry about him. That's a relief. He told us about George. Sounds like everything's finally coming out now. It's been tough to hold it all in. Sounds like you've been holding back about something awful, Jason. I'm part of the reason my best friend is dead, Forrest. And the few who knew about it said if I ever said anything, I'd find myself in jail for a long time. It was hell. And then Todos the como amenazados. On, like he'd never existed. What happened that night? I went along with the stupid prank, that's what. Ah, uh, una no una novatada. Some of the guys on the football team had an idea for a way we could Ostras. haze the newcomers. We decided to plan a party in the woods and have the whistling oh, man. Oh, It was stupid. We each had a role. I was the stabbed friend. At the party that night, I left the group for a second. Met our whistling man. Pretended to get stabbed in front of everyone. Ostras. Started an almighty panic. Those screams. That was the last time qué I mal. saw her. ¿Y por qué murió? How did George Uf. die, Jason? I don't know. I was playing dead. But when I heard her scream. Ricky mentioned a girl named Bean. Is that who you mean? Bean? Oh, yeah. I guess George did call her that. Yeah. He called her Bean. I heard her again sí, sí, yeah. Forest. Her name was... What? No. What happened? Are we still no, on air? No, no, we're not. No, tío. How do we get it back on? I don't, uh... Oh, we can use the emergency generator down in the basement. I go back. Ricky picked it up a while ago in case we ever needed to do an emergency broadcast. An you. emergency broadcast? Emergency? You know, nuclear war, alien attack, broadcasting a serial killer's location to the cops so we can end this nightmare? Fair point! It's in the storage area in the far back corner, up on the wall. Say on this. Say on this. El problema es que va a estar ahí, eh. Quería ir para enseñaros el documento de nuevo y que vieseis el nombre auténtico de ella, de la mujer del Silvio, la asesina. Pero me va a tocar ir por otro motivo un poco más horrible. Y es porque no tenemos luz. Entonces, aquí. Tengo miedo, ¿eh? Ahora sí. Aquí sí que hay luz. <coughs> Eso parece. Far back corner. Why is this station so big? Cuidado, ¿eh? Es un disco. Es aquí. Es ese botón, creo yo. Pero quiero enseñaros antes de darle al botón esto. ¿Vale? ¿Veis? El Instituto de Gallows Creek presenta Humpty Dumpty. Una historia de amor. Oye, la piscina no se llamaría Dumpty, ¿no? 
tragedia y traición protagonizada por Macy Cartwright como Down y George Barrow como Henry con la participación de Mary Campbell como Anne entonces se llama Macy Cartwright él no se iba a decir su nombre porque ha dicho se llamaba mm", y ahí se ha, se ha ido la electricidad pero está aquí Down se llama Macy Cartwright y no sé por qué no se lo queda esto como si fuese una cosa muy importante Oh, we've got power. No puede ser, tío, va por mí. I need to warn Peggy. ¿Cómo aviso a Peggy? ¿Cómo le aviso? Si ha sonado por aquí. Ay, Dios. Ha entrado. ¿Caso no? Ay Dios, estoy ajustando ruidos Está subiendo Messi, por Dios, no hagas nada raro ah. ¿Qué? ¿Qué pasó? Ha sonado algo, tío Tiene que estar en el aire ha vuelto la electricidad, podremos por nosotros. No. Oh, no. Peggy. No, tío, Peggy. Ostras. Pez cumpleaños hermana. Pez cumpleaños Peg. Ya tienes ocho, como un bizcocho, con cariño de... No, 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 no puede ser. Yo, yo sospechaba de ella. Yo sospechaba de esta, es la hermana, tío. Meg... O sea, Pe Peggy es la hermana de Macy. Peggy es la hermana pequeña de la asesina, tío. Oh, my God. ¿Creéis que va a ser mala también? Qué giro, tío. Peggy, where did you go? Yo sé que algo pasaba con ella. Uh, no, me cerró la puerta, asesino. No. No, tío. No. ¿Qué quieres? Que hable contigo. Antado. Una llamada, dice, yo no sé usar estas cosas pues Ya queda claro que ella es la hermana mayor Y había algo detrás Tiene que pulse el mío Pues te vas a esperar, voy a ver esto No entiendo nada Genial Quiero tomarme un café antes, estoy un poco nervioso el asesino del silbido, la asesina del silbido ha entrado. Ok. ¿Qué quieres? What do you want? Good to talk to you again, Forrest. <coughs> you know, I've really enjoyed our chats tonight. I guess we've had some moments. My ¿Por qué mató a su novio, tío? Ha. Huh. You sure did get me then, Forrest. Claudia. Where's Peggy? Have some patience, Forrest. It's almost the end of the night. Es una hermana pequeña, eh. No la va a matar. What do you mean? Make the most of it how? Está en el ajo, tío. Invitado estrella. Sigue vivo, Clay. Teddy. ¿Quién es Teddy? Teddy Gallows, el, el alcalde. What? ¿Qué? ¿Él fue quien mató? ¿Dónde está Teddy? ¿Cómo estás hablando con él? Porque 
because I'm not there with you, Forrest. No, 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 no. Son dos, tío. Es ella. Ay, Dios mío. Es Peggy. O sea, no me lo puedo creer. Con quien hemos estado todo el rato también era el asesino. Y es la que tenemos enfrente. Y ella está con el, con el hijo del alcalde. Que parece ser que tuvo algo que ver con la muerte, quizá. Entonces, ¿quién está aquí? Pues a Peggy. Forrest Nash, let me introduce you and all of Gallant's Creek to my boy, ¿Ah, no? Henry Barrow. Mi hijo Henry Barrow. ¿Qué? ¡Ostras! Pero que encima es hijo del que murió. Estaba embarazada. Madre mía, esto ya nos está pegando muchas vueltas. Es el hijo, entonces. Eh, esto es demasiado. I'm sorry. This, this is a lot to take in. Es su hijo. Había dos hombres de servido, claro. Iban demasiado rápido. Y lo de la fuerza. Uno ayudó al otro. Y Murphy, contra él. Pero no entiendo, entonces quién mató a, a George. ¿El alcalde? ¿Tevi? Marie Campbell? George, es old girl. Oh. Well, Mary Campbell. Espera, 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 esto lo cambia todo. Hemos visto los nombres y el nombre de abajo era... Lo tenemos aquí. Marie Campbell como Anne. Ahí está. Protagonizado por Macy Carl Wright, que era la novia. George Barrow, que es el que murió. Tenía un hermano. George tenía un hermano. Este que hay aquí es el hermano de George. Está buscando venganza porque mataron a su hermano. Con la bromita del hombre del silbido. Y participación de Mary Campbell, como Anne. Esa es la mamá. Entonces Macy Carlos no fue. O creemos que no, aún podría ser, ¿eh? Pero se ha puesto Down también. Qué raro, ¿no? Qué, qué rayada eso. No era Down, ¿eh? Marie Campbell. So, not Don, huh? No, not Don. What are yes. you going to... Uh, uh. Everyone's gonna know now what Teddy did. He killed uh, Fue Teddy. <coughs> This night, 20 years ago. Listen to me. You... Uh, El hijo del alcalde. Que se presenta ahora para el alcalde, claro. Before. Meanwhile, Forrest, I'm gonna give you the chance to talk. Sí. Okay, Marie. I'll do it. Good. Then let's talk about the night George was murdered. Murdered. I said you speak when you're spoken to. Now. Y por qué quería matar a más gente, no entiendo. Ah, bueno, ya entiendo por qué. Ha querido matar a todos ellos porque todos sabían algo de lo que le pasó a su hijo y nadie dijo nada. No me a un asesino también ella. Ah, 
was 20 years ago. Do you want to die, Teddy? Because if you don't, start talking. Uh, oh. What the hell? God damn it. Okay. Our first team party was coming. And when I saw the date it was scheduled for, I had an idea for a way ah, to friend the new guys. Ay, la noche de su vida, ¿no? Kids in Gallows Creek know tonight as Whistling Night. I'm guessing that's what you mean? Well, we didn't have a name for it then. It was just the night that Mooney went missing. But Whistling Night is what they ah, call it. Se creó la leyenda. I, you mean this was the first Whistling Night? I, uh... Keep talking, Teddy. We went up near Whistling Point. Uh, God. Who was there? Me, Jason, and George, of course. Uh, but George didn't come alone. He brought Marie. And Roller Ricky, he was there too, wasn't he? Espera, espera, espera. Entonces, Mary no es su madre, es su novia. Que no era la otra que salía al lado, sino la de abajo, de Mary Campbell. Y estaba embarazada, y por eso este será el hijo de, de George. Realmente es su hijo. Yes. There too, runner Ricky, our wide receiver. I helped him off the bottle, you know, because I'm a decent man. Is that so? Yes, it is. He came apart one day. Some people do. He had some issues. Wasn't stable. I didn't want him to hurt his chances in life, so. I helped him a lot of Ricky, you think? Yeah. You were afraid he would talk about that night, weren't you? Huh. Keep talking. About midway through the night, we put the prank... Y este es el que tenía el poder necesario para callar a todo el mundo. Claro, Jason es el que fingió estar apuñalado. Screaming. George and I and Ricky... He got left behind. But Ricky was in on it too. I know he was. He and Teddy were as close as anybody. Teddy must have told him the plan. Hmm. Eh, Ricky lo sabía? Yo creo que no, eh? No, Marie, you're wrong. Ricky didn't know. What? Did you miss that part of the broadcast? I spoke to him earlier. Sí. He had no idea what was happening. He said Ricky he was no as terrified as anybody. Isn't that right, Teddy? You didn't tell him, did you? Ricky never could keep his mouth shut. If we told him, he would have given everything away. But he... well... No había que matar a Ricky, entonces. enough to tell anybody about it afterwards. He's still guilty. It was just a stupid Eso se enfada con eso, con que no, lo, no se lo contaba a nadie. How can you still say it was just a prank? Oh, come on! I... God You made George think Jason had been murdered. He thought his best friend was dead. And so tonight you stabbed him for real? It's the role he wanted to play. Jason's still alive, Marie. He was with a friend. We talked her through how to stop the bleeding and got him professional. Por eso la ha apuñalado Jason por eso, porque se hizo pasar por atacado. Está muy, muy enfadada. ¿Cómo te sentiste? En that moment. I felt like nothing was real. Felt small, and confused, and... ¿Quién estaba bajo la máscara? Pues Teddy seguro. Tell me what happened next. ¿Qué pasó después? I suddenly recognized 
Era Chuck. Ostras. Chuck Brody. Era el nombre del silbido, el de la. La solinera. Oh. ¿Qué pasó, tío? ¿Le asustaron tanto que se mató? Se cayó, tío. George se cayó. ¿Lo empujó? Buah. Una broma que se 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 lo de control. Wow. Oh, Dios mío. Entonces, esto... Ah, no entiendo, tío. Peggy es el mala, ¿no? Casi seguro, por, la, por el dibujo ese. Yo la creo. I believe her. You... What? Madre mía, tío, qué mala broma. Lo va a matar. Why else cover it up? My future was at stake, Ash. You know what it's like. People like us are bragged for bigger things. Madre mía. I'm going to be the mayor of this town. Creo que no, ¿eh? And then governor. And then, who knows? What happened that night? was tragic. It should never have happened. But it was a mistake. It was just a stupid joke gone wrong. So my father sent Clive out to clean it up. Why should a blip Ostras. my future? George was a blip? That's an evil thing to say, Teddy. That's the way it is. My father agreed with me. Sandra found him the next morning while out jazz running. She found him in the river, but she lied about that to protect Teddy. She said something about her rent going up, unless she... Teddy, did your father own Sandra Sharp's dance studio? It's Gallows Creek, not Sharp. I'd answer the question if I were you, Teddy. Yes, okay. We own the most important house. That's it then. Your father was going to run her out of business unless she lied and said she found him in the reservoir instead of the river. What my father did in his business dealings is nothing to do with me. The false reports. Todo mal, tío. Todo, todo manipulado. That's why Sheriff Matthews too, isn't it, Maria? Not just to get him out of the way, but everyone was in on it. Forrest, the sheriff also was involved. Fake report said George was drinking, that he just got himself into trouble, and fake report. I only heard the tapes. You'd be disgusted by it. For all it's worth, Virginia didn't have much of a choice. She had a sick sister whose treatments she couldn't afford. Cada uno tenía su vida y sus problemas, claro, pero uff. She brought her to save her sister's life. And her own. Even, even still, she should have told the truth. I did my part. I tried everything I could think of. I even went to the newspaper. But no, that coward killed the story. We'll take care of Maurice Russell later. Madre mía. Eh, sí, me ha preguntado. Will the killing end, Marie? Tampoco puede matar a todo el mundo. When does it end? You can't kill the world. This has to stop sometime. It has to never started. He shouldn't have pushed my door down the cliff. He should have been punished. 
is coming to a stop. At least for now. Here, where George and I first met. Madre mía. Está, está totalmente desquiciada ya. Wait a sec. El gimnasio instituto, el campo de fútbol, la pista de patinaje. Campo de fútbol. You're at the football field. Jesus Christ. Forest, ah, no. you idiot. En el gimnasio. We're in the gym at Gallows Creek High. I told you not to do that. Wait. He's Lo mato. Dead too now. Isn't he? He is. Anyway, ¿La al fallar ahí? I think that about wraps up the interview with Teddy. So. Marie, where? Ahí está Peggy, es su hermana pequeña. Peggy. Teddy. Peggy. It's been so long since I've seen your face. I worried you wouldn't come. And here I was thinking you'd forgot me. I'd never forget my own Miss? sister. Will someone please explain to me what's happening? Wanna explain? Yo ya lo, lo vi en el dibujo. Earlier, while you were speaking to Jason, I got a call. Do you remember? Huh. Well, it was from Dawn. <sighs> She said that my sister Marie was there that night George died. And that I should come to the gym for a reunion. And Jolien. when you walked in, you found out that my sister is the whistling man. Good to see you too, Peggy. Maria. Why didn't you tell me any of this? She said that it was my last chance to see my sister. Oh, I knew if I told you, you'd try to stop me or come with me when we need you on the radio. And I just... You should have said something. You should have told me. I know, okay? I should have. But I didn't imagine this situation then, so just... What happened to you, Marie? You just disappeared one day. Disappeared? I was thrown out, Peggy. I begged Mom and Dad to do something about what happened that night. But did they care? No, they told me to stay quiet. They didn't care when they learned I'd been with George. No, el bebé, supongo, ¿no? So sorry. I never knew. It's not your fault. Really, it's mom and dad. Muy scream, eh, el juego. Muy como la pelea scream. Gone, well. I'll have to settle for the next best thing. Eh, no lo hagas. Marie, listen to me. You don't have to do this. Someone has to pay for what they did. ¿Por qué me ahora? Please. Mom and dad are gone. Vamos a matarla a ella. Just like the rest. You forgot. Marie, Peggy never forgot about you. Keep your mouth shut. No, she kept tío. the card from you. She, she kept it here on her desk. What sí. card? The card you made me for my eighth birthday. What does it say then? Happy birthday, Peg. Now you're great and eight. Love M. I. Well, I. Llegó la policía. Policía, sácame de aquí. Ay Dios. La han herido. Logro desbloqueado dos hermanas. Hay, hay varios finales, ok, no sé qué final voy a sacar. Wow. Well, folks, it was a long night, but we made it through together. I'm gonna head off to go check on Peggy. This is Ben, Forrest Nash. Um, ha sido de muerte. And it's been a scream. <laughs> wow.
El hombre, el mito y el grito, mandado. ¡Ostras! ¿Se podía salvar a Teddy o qué? ¿En serio? Igual había forma de que no... Ah, porque me equivoqué de dónde estaban. Claro, tío. Vale, chicos, vamos ahora a contestarle que está en el gimnasio, ¿ok? A ver si salvamos a, a Teddy y salvamos a todos. Justo antes de que llegue Peggy, creo. Es ahora. Donde George y yo nos conocimos. Antes de irse al equipo de fútbol, gimnasio. El gimnasio. Vale, acabamos de salvar a. Bateaste por Teddy Gallows. Nos han dado un logro por salvar a Teddy. Y ahí llega Peggy. Y es que es importante lo de la nota. Vale, ahí no lo ha matado. Déjame de aquí. No sé si cambia algo aquí porque salió como que no la mató tampoco. O sea, que no quiero que la mate. No voy a cambiar nada, chicos, que la hemos salvado también a Peggy. Hasta pensamos en matarla, ¿eh? No está, se quedará engañado ahí. Cuando tú walked in, you found out that my sister is the whistling man. Tampoco lo sabía. Why didn't you tell me any of this? She said that it was my last chance to see my sister. I knew if I told you, you'd try to stop me or come with me when we need you on the radio, and I just. You should have said something. You should have told me. I know, okay? I should have. But I didn't imagine this situation then. So just What happened to you, Marie? You just Ya se va a poner agresiva con ella en plan matarla. No sé por qué, en qué momento piensa eso. No lo has. Marie, listen to me. You don't have to do this. Someone has to pay for what they did. Marie, please. Mom and Dad are gone, Peggy. Besides, you forgot me. No. Just like the rest. You forgot. Marie, Peggy never forgot about you. Keep your mouth shut. She kept a card from me. La salvamos aquí por la tarjeta. She kept on her desk. What card? The card you made me for my eighth birthday. What does it say then? Happy birthday, Peg. Now you're great and eight. Love, M. I. No solución. I. Ya está, ya está final. Henry se va. Vale, perfecto, chicos. Ahora sí se supone que sacamos el final con todos vivos. Que no es fácil, ¿eh? Hay que cargar partida varias veces cuando te equivocas. Where's Marie? She bolted right as we got here. Y deja el juego abierto al final, eh. Ha desaparecido. It's over, Forrest. 
Bueno, así que sí. Final bueno. Vamos a ver la cinta. Bueno, chicos. A ver dónde nos lleva ahora. Quiero verlo bien en ese sitio, pero con todos vivos. Ah, sí. Hombre de palabra, luego desbloqueado. Todos están vivos, chicos. Absolutamente. Fortísimo el volumen ahí. Y este sitio. ¡No! ¡No! Hay que quitar el epílogo. No sé si había algo importante ahí. Espero que no. Vale, lo he comprado en otro vídeo. No hay nada especial. Simplemente es eso que estábamos viendo. Eh, la televisión con todos los créditos. Y el epílogo que es estar ahí con todos vivos. Chicos, si os ha gustado, toca darle like, comentar cosas para decir y suscribiros para más desarrollo y más diversión. Espero que os haya gustado mucho el juego. Me ha parecido un juegazo con muy buena historia. Y nada más, que os quiero mucho, un abrazo muy fuerte y vos sorpresa. Y hasta la siguiente, te tenéis matado un desgrado ahí. ¡Gusta! Ya ponte cómodo que hoy hay terror y diversión. Anima Towner eres tú, Anima Towner de corazón. Terror y diversión para alegrar tu corazón. Para quitar todas las nubes y dejarles sin el sol. Que no, que no.